Hello, welcome, Hello, one and all. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Oh, it's it's lovely to see you all. Um, you at the back, yes. You, you're waving at me. Ah, oh, lovely. Um. Hello, welcome to Actual Play UK. I am John, John of Actual Play UK and Trolls of the Two Tunbridges fame. You may know me from such podcasts and streams as these. <laughs> Moving on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> welcome to Delta Green. We are um, continuing our way through our, our Visid campaign. Um, a, a, uh, the delightful romp through the park that is... Um, Doom flubber, um, <laughs> <laughs> possibly. I'm not sure. Um, you uh, you may notice uh, to my other side, that side, uh, we we do have uh, an, an absence this evening. Um, uh, Pip sends his love, um, but he he is sans computer, so <laughs> uh, th that's that's um, French for he ain't got a computer. So. Um, Yes, unfortunately. He will be back shortly, though. Uh, he's just having, obviously, technical difficulties, as you can see. Um, so, so Pip and Argos has gone to the pub to down yes, their sorrows. Yes. Yeah. And it's, and it just so happens that... I can't say I blame you. No, he's exactly. left in disgust. <laughs> yes. I, mean, I thought this saying, was a quality outfit. Uh, no, he's just, <laughs> that was it. It was it, one small shooting of a goose. <laughs> one small shooting and an explosion, and it all goes to pot. Exactly. Um, I, I'm I'm gonna quickly uh, go around people and and um, th there's uh, everybody knows who we are by now. But uh, we have the the lovely Nick from Trolls of the Two Tom Bridges. Uh, there Adam, we, where is he? There he is. Where is that oh way. yes, Nick. Uh, he's, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. That way. Yes. Yes. Um, <laughs> we've got, <laughs> we've got uh, the uh, the lovely uh, Adam as well. Uh, and Simon and Natalia and they're all of these people who are here for your enjoyment and your love and for well probably trying to get away from the cops um <laughs> yes um we we will of course go into uh, uh the the uh, the podcasts and the streams that everyone is is part of uh, at, at, towards the end of the stream because I want to get into something um Last time we streamed, we we obviously we we had we had a time, didn't we? It wasn't it wasn't it a, a lovely time with the in a yeah. There, there was some. It's like a holiday. Yeah, delightful <laughs> romp. <laughs> yeah, it, it was good, right? It, like we taking all had the fresh fun. sea air. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was lovely. Some eyes. Some of the sights. Some tourist yeah. attractions. It, it, yeah. it, it was like a rom com. Uh, you know, like. Uh, Four weddings and a funeral. Um, oh, yes, yes, but more like four funerals and <laughs> and, uh, and, an explosion. and a detonation. Um, yeah. <laughs> and a detonation. Yes, but the lesser known film. From, uh, yeah, it was a sequel. It yes. was a sequel. Yeah. <laughs> um. So, so the, there was, believe it or not, the, um, a a small amount of of well, the, it was a a little bit of um, confusion. <laughs> Should we say, on one one thing, um, last time we streamed, the, there was a, a moment where um, Pip was was stood there, and uh, he he um, was stood next to the the corpse of a, a young lady, and um, I said that uh, a, something was was uh, moving moving in the corpse. There just so happened to be two corpses that I was not prepared for because uh, Crazy Eddie decided to, well, sorry. Corpse, the other one. He, I decided he, nothing. <laughs> I, excuse me, Governor. Excuse me, Governor. I decided nothing. I looked to the boss and the boss <laughs> gave me the okay. She signed off on that shit. I yeah. see. I see. I yeah. to point no. out that I wasn't even in the room. No, no. And, I, st and I still lost sanity. No. <laughs> Nobody, well, I mean, you would. That nobody is is trying to blame anybody, especially me. Not trying, no blame. <laughs> safe space, safe space. Um, I hope the magistrate agrees. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> there, there was a slight confusion because um, Natalia, you were saying that um, actually a twist. The, the oh, twist. <laughs> um, you were saying that that 
her perception of the situation was slightly different to how mm -hmm. I, I then spoke to you about it afterwards. What was your perception of it? So Twist had just kind of under pressure given the OK to Crazy Eddie to kill the mortician science guy. Uh, forgotten his name, but lovely guy. Um, he was until he was <laughs> dead. <laughs> Yeah, and, stubbed um, out is, is how it and goes. then stubbed straight out. after that, yeah. um, our lovely handler and John said, "The corpse begins to move." Now, in Twist's head and in my head, the corpse I was focusing on and I just kept become a corpse was um, the doctor, Doctor Lewis so Stubbs. I thought Dr. Lewis Stubbs had instantly got the weird blue alien thing That's... in him and become, you know, was going to take over us all. And I understand. I, I, I was helping everyone. I know you were. I know you <laughs> I were. was saving everyone's now, lives. <laughs> originally, I did intend, I did intend, and, and hands up, I did intend for this to be still the corpse of young Miss Griffin. But, but I am more than happy to say that. Given the circumstances, it was also the corpse of Dr. Lewis Stubbs that had something. Can I also really... say, though, like, yeah. Twist isn't completely insane. You know, no, she's, no, no. she's a reasonable girl. She is. <laughs> uh, I'd like to point out the, uh, <laughs> the, the stress on the word completely. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if we're using completely as the bar here, I mean, we're, we're all passing. <laughs> well, you are the one with the name Crazy Eddie, though. <laughs> it's an affectation, mate. Oh, you mean like little John? Or Eddie. <laughs> Your name's yeah, actually Eddie, Jeremy. Like His name's actually Stuart, yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> um, this, this, yeah this actually brings me round to, to something that happened today. With, with just reminded me of a moment of, of not being able to communicate myself well I was, was going to say, okay, you, you uh, murdered a pathologist. Uh, yes. <laughs> I thought I'd left you at home all day, John. <laughs> the number so of people like I murdered. Um, Life <laughs> imitating art. I uh, well, <laughs> look, I have to research somehow. <laughs> so, not my diary. Um, <laughs> it is not my diary, I promise. So the, the thing it reminded me, I, I was reminded about this because today, both Natalia and I had cramp. Totally separate situations. And Natalia was in one room and, and having cramp. And I was in, the, in another room. In my legs. Room, in yeah. the legs. And I had cramp. And I suddenly had cramp in, in my right leg. And it's like, oh, simpatico. Twins. But, cramp no, twins. But okay. This reminded me of a time when I, when I was... A lot younger, when I was living at home with my parents, and I used to listen to a lot of death metal, okay? I would, I would sit in my bedroom, and I, I would listen to this. Like, like We were talking about Cannibal Corpse earlier, right, Nick? I used to listen to this stuff, and it was like, yeah, this is great. I had it up, volume, whatever. My parents were very forgiving of me, uh, and I do appreciate them now. But... I remember this one particular time, quite late at night, when I had the most incredible cramp in my leg. And I started screaming out, oh, this is hurting me so badly. And I saw my dad walk across the landing, just outside, like not far away, like a couple of meters away. I was screaming for my dad. Dad, the cramp. And he walked by, totally ignoring me. And I, the next morning, the next morning, I asked my dad, so why did you ignore me, dad? And he said to me, I thought you were listening to some of your music, John. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps I should be clearer in how I communicate with people. <laughs> Does anybody else have these kind of issues in their life? Is there any point in your life where you feel, maybe I should just be that little bit clearer about what I'm saying so that people don't shoot that wrong corpse? 
anybody? Not necessarily. Yeah. However, I, I do feel that if I try to be any clearer on some of the emails I send at work, I would probably be sacked or at least brought up in uh, in front of HR. <laughs> so what kind of clarity are we talking here? <laughs> we, we're, we're talking uh, words of less than one syllable to uh, make people understand. I see. Ah. Um, yeah. It's <laughs> so, even, even in games, though, that Adam, yeah. do, do you find, mm. Simon, do you find that this is the case? You both are GMs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. You we often have to do that. Yeah. Um, the, although the one that I can think of was when I was a player. So I was playing uh, Mage the Ascension with, uh, uh, with one of my good friends, Zoe. And um, I was playing a, a, a hermetic, you know, a tweed jacket, patches on the shoulders, kind of, you know, uh, very much a kind of hermetic mage. And she was playing a euthanatos, so, uh, um, and she rocks a whole cool goth look anyway. And, and you know, she was playing very much a, a goth uh, mage. Nice. Nice. And uh, we're sneaking up in, the, in this house, and I, I end up using my, my senses to look through the wall. Mm -hmm. And on the other side is a hit mark. And for those of you who don't play Mage the Ascension, hit mark is basically the Terminator. Yeah. Magical mm -hmm. Terminator, immune to magic. Mm -hmm. uh, guns come out of every orifice. You know, terrifying. And uh, these things are damn near unkill unkillable. So, uh, you know, I go up there and I'm like, fuck that. And I say <laughs> the words, fuck that. And I turn to Zoe thinking, I've played with Zoe for years. She understands what I mean. And I say, go. And she rolled fucking initiative. Go does not mean attack the unkillable robot. It means go, literally, go, get Run. out of here. Run away. And she started combat with the thing. <laughs> uh, I mean, we, we got out alive and, and all the rest of it. I think uh, we uh, opened a portal and dropped it into Mount Fuji. But uh, but yeah, it was, uh, yeah, I mean, all, all it did you was just slow it, it down. Climbs, you just wait yeah. until it climbs out and comes looking for you. It's gonna be oh, yeah, I mean, it slowed it down. That was about it. Um, and probably messed up its jacket but that's about uh that's <laughs> it but yeah so uh especially when when you're taking the lead and you're you're sneaking up on something retreat or attack never go yeah go go is too <laughs> ambiguous yeah run away run away <laughs> um, yeah. we actually have the meme now go means kill right um nice. and uh yeah. yeah it's still on the back of a folder yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so adam have you found this as well is this uh, yeah, yeah, a few times, especially when I think about uh, DMing. Uh, I often feel like I think I'm being very clear about mm. the horrifying results of their actions, and yet, Sometimes. and yet they yeah. they they throw it back at me like, oh, oh, I couldn't have believed that they were horrifying monsters behind there, or, uh, <laughs> you know, signing my soul over to this entity seemed like such a good idea the way you presented it. No. <laughs> No, it wasn't. <laughs> but uh, alas, yeah. Apparently, I, maybe I need to work on that. <laughs> well, I mean, maybe we all. Obviously, John, you, yeah. you, and I and Natalia play in the same, Very uh, true. same campaign. Yeah. How many miscommunications have we had as a group? Yes. So that are, take, that are taking <laughs> us off on many different tangents, and we've just run with it. You know, to the, probably to the the huge dismay of our ever beloved dm greg oh bless him he's amazing as a <sighs> dm and i i'm sure i have lost him so many times with, with confusion oh, yeah. that my character siliqui in our campaign um okay originally um i you know when you're designing a character and you've got an idea for them and you'll start playing with them but then depending on your roles it changes your character's development and actually they end yep, up being quite totally, different so totally. initially um she was meant to be she's very beautiful um um and she know you know she's basically can can use her looks and her body if she needs to but she um she's a monk and um so she punches people first yeah and she's very good at art and she's got all these different um you know bits of pieces of abilities but she um yeah from day one as soon as i started trying to kind of seduce or flirt with people my performance checks were always so so low like natty one and two that it became a bit of a laughing stock that she was basically she was beautiful and and Clueless. and had this amazing body but she had grown up around boys and was a tomboy and had no idea how to do sexy 
So we failed at everything, like to try and be sexy. What, what do girls um, like? I have no idea. So I don't know, yeah. So <laughs> she um, basically, um, but for some reason, even though I then started playing it as more of a sort of joke and more serious, so many times, especially in the early days, Greg thought I was trying to seduce or do something sexy. And it, it, I, I was just trying to do something normal, like run up a wall. <laughs> and somehow it's like, no, fashion. you can't, for, you know, you can't flirt with them. <laughs> well, I will stipulate that. It's normal for a monk. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. <laughs> it was within her remit of what she can do. <laughs> I mean, if you suck around 13-year-old boys, that is flirting. It's like, hey, watch this. Tries to run no. up a wall, brains himself on the playground floor. That and, you know, that, that, that yeah. is 13-year-old flirting right there. That is. Is it, yeah. is it not? Is it, uh, it, it's also seeing how far you can pee up the wall as well. Um, I mean, you know, look what I've I can do. I've, um, I've never tried doing that flirting. I have to say. <laughs> hey, so, so that's lived. why now in our in our campaign, <laughs> this one for going quite, well for quite some time. Um, due to I think Twist was uh, sorry, uh, Siliqui was doing some kind of yoga moves in front of somebody once, and and our DM thought she was trying to flirt as opposed to she was just trying to distract oh, him and talk on, to him. Come on, yoga um, moves, though. She's a monk. That's what she does. And um, but she, Look, um, as because of that, we got into a weird conversation. Um, but then we got into a weird conversation, and now I have to go and find some special cheese to buy for this guy to take back for him. Because <laughs> to find <laughs> out, to find out what the hell Natalia is actually talking about, go listen to Trolls of the Two Ton Bridges. <laughs> um, <laughs> This hasn't, obviously, yeah. honestly, this hasn't just been a huge advert for Trolls and no, no, it really no, hasn't. Genuinely. It's um, it's mad. I'm equal parts <laughs> intrigued and terrified. So as you should be, as you should be, Simon. <laughs> that brings me to this. Delta Green is not about guns. Delta Green is not about the bug hunt. Delta Green is not about understanding or even misunderstanding. Thank you very much. <laughs> Delta Green is about the end. The end of everything, your family, everyone you know, your country, all life on Earth. Little, little things on wheels, who knows. It's about the end of everything and your place in it. Because you'll end too. That's what the fear is about and that is what this game is about. It's not about winning, it's not about advancement, and it's not about the best weapon or most clever plan. Remember that as you are driving at high speed away from your rather large explosion. <laughs> In slow motion, a la James Bay. Delta Green is about the <laughs> Michael, Michael Bay. Michael Bay, sorry. James Bay. Yeah, James Bay. Yeah, Michael Bay, sorry. Um... Welcome to Delta Green. I believe you. We're still talking about who James Bay is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we see a small blue Nissan pull into a parking space in front of a small block of flats. Uh, the radio finishes the last notes of the Spice Girls to become one. Reaching over the passenger seat <laughs> to grab her shopping <laughs> from uh, her shopping from Waitrose is a woman with short blonde hair and blue eyes. And the secretary from the Truro <sighs> coroner's office. She moves back to turn the engine off fully before she catches herself hovering over the ignition. <laughs> Caught in a state of arrest as her mind and her ears tune into the news. Fire crews are attending the scene now and tackling the blaze in North Truro, just off the A39 to North Truro. We will have more news soon. 
She hits the ignition and switches off the engine. The radio dies. She picks up her phone and dials as she slides off of the seat and out the door, pulling the bags with her. She dials and... Hey, babe. Yeah, I'm out of work now. Are you, uh, you coming over? Light tap of footsteps as she walks up some brick steps. What was that accent? I thought she was from St. Ives. She was from wherever I wanted to be. <laughs> she drifted last time. Shut up. <laughs> I'm just going for bland. Go with what feels right. <laughs> exactly. At the time. Her, her accent changes as much as her hairstyle. <laughs> I've had a shit day and I definitely need a drink. All right. See you later. Her front door closes with a click. Your indicator on the car turning left. You've realized that, who's driving? Me. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Twistman had got the car while uh, Crazy Eddie was um, finishing blowing it the place up. <laughs> as, as you do, standard weekday <laughs> evening. Twist, you are sat behind the wheel of your car. Mm-hmm. Um, the cleric Eddie and Icarus are, are just in the back. I think I think one of one of you guys is probably going to be in the uh, rocking passenger yeah. seat. Yeah, your, your, um... <laughs> oh, I was right. Was crazy Eddie in the passenger seat next to me? Didn't he jump oh, in the probably. side? Yeah, probably. yeah, I'm in the passenger seat. Shotgun. Yeah. So you are there. You're you realise that you've zoned out for a moment. And you, in the distance, you can hear sirens. Uh, ahead of you is, is um, a, a crossroads, and you're just sat at the crossroads. There's no one, rea- no one else really around at the moment, but you can see some cars starting to come up behind you, and there's a couple just in front that are starting to approach. Uh, what is it that you want to do? Fuck. <laughs> I know I've hit gas mains and shit before, but that was something bigger. I mean, what the fuck was that? I mean, I knew the tank was going to blow the bloody place, but I hit like three buildings in either direction. What the fuck was that? I I don't fucking know. I I I don't know what they, where the fuck to go. Where should we go? I'm um, twist well, as far as, wide. Far as, <laughs> as far away as possible, but don't make it look like you're trying to get away as fast as possible. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, drive casual. Yeah. Um, oh, fuck. Fuck. Um, so Twist tries oh. kind of looking cool. She she um, says to Eddie, she's like, light one of these for me. She chucks the cigarettes and lighter because she's got both hands on the wheel and she's got the window down trying to... Um, Surprise, you trusted me with a lighter. Here you go. <laughs> uh, twist. So, so you start to, to drive off... Um, and you you uh, you wait till the the light goes green and you start driving. I would like you to roll me a, a drive, please. Okay. Uh, this, is, this is not like driving like you're a maniac. Obviously, you've already said that what, how you're going to be driving is nice and casual. Um, I rolled a fifty-four under sixty, so I success. I was that's a, a yeah. success. Yeah. Okay. And you start to um, drive down the road, and um, you just you make your way just as far away as you possibly can. As you're driving, um, you see a uh, fire engine come the, uh, the opposite direction, obviously heading towards the the, uh, the blaze. Now, one thing that that I I didn't say was that uh, last time where the um, uh, where the coroner's office actually is, in reality, it's actually next to a crematorium as well. Uh, so there's. Um, <laughs> is that another reason for the explosion? You don't know. <laughs> so it's next to a crematorium, and um, <laughs> there's there's like there's maybe we helped the the them get through their 
work quicker? <laughs> maybe, maybe, yes. It's just, just about <laughs> speeding through the, that backlog of corpses. Yeah. Um, so what, what's actually going on there is that it's, it's, there's not a lot of buildings around there. So you, you've pretty much, from what, what Eddie was saying there, you, you can tell that the majority of that, that structure has just gone up in flames. Um, there's a couple of small buildings across the way, um, and there's a motorway which actually runs uh, alongside it. So I would say that you'd get onto the motorway and uh, you start heading. Are you heading towards Truro or are you heading out? Um, thing? Twist is going to say to the rest of the, the car, we take one in it. Um, Look out for just a like a travel lodge or something with um, where we can hide, you know, where we can just go to regroup, but also hide the truck, you know, hide the car behind. Yeah, um, out, yeah. Out, outside. Um, also, I mean, I mean, um, Claire, we got time, you... right? We got time because they're, they're going to have to pick through the rubble. They're going to have to find out what went on in the first place. They won't even suspect foul play until they actually figure out what brought it down. So we I mean, got a the... bit. Of, a t we got a tiny lead. Once they realise that this isn't an accident, then they're going to go all fucking ham on trying to find us. But we yeah. basically, it, it's it's really it, it, we've got grace, and then it's really fucking bad. Yeah, we we've got a small window. I don't know how long the window is, but we have a window. Um, I don't know, man. I made a lot of rubble. <sighs> um, cleric, um, can you look for? possibly um any kind of schematics or anything for like gas supplies in the area that could we could we try and do anything to pass this off as like a gas explosion or something that you, you, somewhere you else did wrong can you hack anywhere to look for i don't know your computery things that you do bring money he's not actually a hacker he's, <laughs> I know. he's, he's <laughs> more or less a computer, he's, a computer, <laughs> he's a computer programmer um but <laughs> Uh, you might have to call his name a few times. You, uh, if you've ever seen sort of a six foot four, eighteen stone rugby shaped Scotsman trying to make himself look small, um, seen that five times now. <laughs> uh, so uh, Twist is looking through. It keeps looking through the rearview mirror to see him. No, says he's not listening. Just starts picking up random snacks like bags of crisps and chucking them over her shoulder at him to hit him to get try and get his attention. <laughs> and she's also pulling her cap. As like low down as she can to avoid subtle. traffic cameras and very yeah. subtle, yeah. Okay, so this obviously does does bring us to uh, to cleric. What is actually happening with you, cleric? You, you're saying that you're you're just trying to make yourself small. What what, what, what is? Yeah, he, he, he more sort of huddled in the uh, huddled in the seat, like. Uh, uh, Maybe like a, a child does if they you know if they're, they're they're frightened of something, you know. Sort of, and they don't want to be in where they are because they, they think they're going to get into trouble. They, you know, you know whatever you know whatever the the situation is. And he's not even looking out the window. He's just sort of like hunched hunched in the seat, just sort of not trying to not really connecting with anybody. So uh, he's, he's not a happy bunny with you know the uh, the death and explosions and everything else. He's a mathematician. He's you know he's, he's a he's a professor at Leeds University. He he doesn't do explosions unless it's Michael Bay um, or um, you know Doctor Who or Star Wars or you know anything like that. He doesn't do explosions. He doesn't. He certainly never met anybody that's murdered somebody in front of him. Okay. So well, he met Digger, now, but Digger's not murdered anyone in front of him. But you know, he probably Digger, has murdered Digger, quite Digger's a few people. Digger's Australian, yeah. and we wanted to we wanted to mur we wanted to murder Digger. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but he's also trying to sort of like, probably keep. <laughs> if if you if you looked really hard, you'd say you'd see that he's trying to be as far away from Crazy Eddie as possible. Okay. Um, another thing Twist is going to do is she's going to look through her mirror, the rearview mirror, um, to look at both um, 
to look at both Cleric and Icarus to see who looks more sort of focused, you know, like at least in the present. Okay. Um, and, and she's going to quickly eyeball over at Crazy Eddie as well. And whoever looks like they're the most there, she's going to chuck her burner phone to them and ask them to send a text to... Um, to our good old friend Harold Lemon Uh, but on it she's going to use very specific MI5 um, shorthand that basically means um, something fucked up up. we need a cover up basically but it's it's code Um, so she's going to spell it all out to whoever looks most you know with it and ask him to text him okay Um, before we move on to that uh, Icarus well how <laughs> how is things going on in the brain of, of Icarus? What, what's what's happening? In the brain of Icarus. <laughs> what's happening um, in the brain of Icarus? What's happening in the brain of Icarus? <laughs> well, Icarus is, I guess, sat on the back seat next to a cleric, but he's not really paying attention to anything anyone else is saying. He's actually he's still got that the sample he stole from yeah. the uh, coroner's office, and he's kind of got that in his lap <laughs> in the glass jar, and he's just sort of staring at it not really paying attention to anyone else. Okay. Now, I'm assuming one of the packets of crisp that Twist throws back was accidentally hits Icarus as well. <laughs> yeah. <just bounces> <laughs> <off>. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Now, I don't believe we did this last time because it was all a bit of a, whoa, what's going on? <laughs> but, how was everybody for rolling for sanity right now? Because, you guys did just blow up. A we did roll a lot of sanity last week, last time. I don't know hey, if that was for that. This shit thing. keeps on coming. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't believe it's we actually... It's a gift that keeps do, on giving. It does. I don't believe... I may be wrong, but I don't believe we actually rolled for sanity for the fact that you blew somewhere up. Because we, we ended the stream. And, you know. So, how are we doing? Everybody roll? Um... Uh, you want us to roll for sanity then? Yes, please. Yeah. <laughs> yes, please. Let's say uh, 32 under 64 for Icarus. You know he's what? Fine, just fine. I- Icarus is, is like, he's cold. Twist rolls. He's like stone cold. <laughs> he is. This, none of this bothers him, and apparently. <laughs> is it, are you meant to roll under your maximum or no, under, under your, your current. current? So I rolled 27 under 63. All good. All good. Yes. Eddie. How's, how's, how's it going? <laughs> Are you muted? Oh, I'm doing just fine, mate. I rolled a five. It's another Yay! day at the office. Yeah, yeah, it, wow, it, all it of us, like, look at that. Deep, deep down, yeah. he's very slightly proud of it. Okay. And, and Beric, <laughs> yes. Beric, what, what, was, what was it that you had? 54 over 40. Okay. <laughs> 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 I told you he wasn't well. <laughs> um, Nicely done. Actually, uh, Cleric, would you roll roll a D4 for me and take off one? So it'd be D3. If I roll a one, does that mean it's zero? Yes. Is that yeah. one? <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. You, still you have jammy saved. bastard. <laughs> yes. Very nice. Oh, cool. Right. Okay. The uh, crisp in the face made you forget what you was worrying about for a moment. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, well, <laughs> he's, 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 too busy think, he's too busy writing his, his next song for the band he's in, uh, Catastrophic Breath Inversion. Um, so... Uh, <laughs> I'm obscurely proud of that one, actually. So, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering if the crisps had anything in, into play. So, you know, you get hit and you go flaming up monster munch. I didn't know they did those. But still, I thought it was only pickled onion these days. <laughs> <laughs> both. I mean, I'll, I'll take both. I mean, uh... <laughs> so you guys, you. You're driving along, and uh, Twist, you said that you were going to um, pass back the burner phone that you have, and... To um, whoever looks like they might be able to manage to do that, you know, and, and not... Okay, so 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 currently, completely... Eddie, Eddie looks like he's... A, he's 
he's not he's not out of it. He looks like he's he's concerned. Cleric looks like he's withdrawn a bit, and Icarus just looks like a fucking brick wall. <laughs> so, <laughs> if you'd pile some bricks up in Icarus's seat, that would be Icarus right now. That's mm. that's the kind of vibe you're getting. So it's totally up to you who you pass your phone to. I'm going to roll a d3. <laughs> yeah, all good. Or a d4 good. and take d4. like one, two, three. Yeah. Um, so. So who are you doing? Who? One's cleric. Two's. Um, Crazy Eddie and three is Icarus. Okay. If I get a four, I'll... I'll Do it yourself. Just... <laughs> Two. So Crazy Eddie. Eddie, you get a phone handed to you and <laughs> uh, twist, twist basically gives you the, these uh, whole load of kind of what like sounds a bit like gobbledygook. Um, but you can... Oh, you can... I forgot. I've, I've named... Um, I've named... Uh, how, like, what do I call Harold Lemon on my phone? Wasn't it Twathead or something? Very I can't remember, possibly. but he's under something. Whatever the <laughs> thing is that she's called him under, <laughs> she'll tell you the name Keith. to find him. You, you, didn't you name him Keith? Keith, yes. Oh, it was. It was... <laughs> so, so you, you send this message that um, you don't really know what it exactly what it means, Eddie, but you, you get the vibe that it's everything's gone foobar. Um, <laughs> d- d- need needs like you know some assistance. Um, need some cover. We need up. we need assistance. Uh, uh, Bob, can you come and help us move some boxes from the wardrobe? Yes. <laughs> it's like yeah, I totally think the random. cat's got a bird behind there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we might have found a wasp nest in the in the cupboard. Yeah. So, so you're driving along and. Um, which direction are you heading towards, uh, Twist? Um, Twist will also ask somebody, who, anyone, um, to look on Google Maps, because that was the thing at that point, wasn't it? To look yep. for like a uh, travel lodge or somewhere that's might have a back car park, but somewhere okay. we can um, just go and regroup. Okay, more, more than happy for that to happen. I'll have a look on Apple Maps then. Yeah, do. Yeah. So, beep boop, beep boop, beep boop. Um, <laughs> All right. So what you do is you you uh... doesn't say anything. Just holds the phone. Just holds the phone up in the mirror so you can see the the, the yeah. one night ten miles. Away. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> it, in reverse. It's, uh, <laughs> ring, ring. The closest one's Ringwood A thirty one. Go for it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you you uh, you start driving along and it, it takes you takes you about ten minutes to uh, to locate this this hotel just looks like a, a, a standard kind of travel lodging type of place. Premier nothing, Inn. Yeah. I went to breakfast in the morning. Okay. Premier Inn. And they got better mattress- so mattresses. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Sorry, Danny Henry says. Make, make yeah. sure you, <laughs> you uh, try and endorse us, Premier Inn, because we love you. Yeah. <laughs> we, your, your breakfasts are fab. Yeah. yeah. Okay. If he wants the Premier Inn, that's still in Ringwood. It's Forest Gate Business Park. Go for it. Oh. It's uh, BH twenty four three A. Oh no, you haven't got you haven't got sat nav. That's that's not going out. Okay, uh, no, it's not sat nav. It's, it's yeah. Tom Tom. <laughs> okay, instead of Tom Tom, you got Ed Ed. Right. Okay, let's. Uh, <laughs> it, it's left here in that general right. direction. <laughs> yeah. Ed so you, up here. So you find your way over to the uh, to, to the car parking area. There, you you drive around to the back. There's a, there's a few other cars in there. Doesn't look particularly busy, but you know it's, it's what it is. Is this midweek still? No. Uh, uh, yes. I think so. Wednesday, it? Thursday, something like that. Um, it's, it's, it's a normal weekday, so it's because um, yeah. everyone's Because this is still the there, same day that we arrived on yeah. the train, isn't it? It is. Mm. Above mm. table. We've it's, been here think, hours. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've been here hours. <laughs> we have. we've, we've we haven't even had dinner we've, yet. Literally, we've we've electrocuted a mutant crow. We've murdered. We've murdered the pathologist. Uh, nice yeah, <laughs> Twist has been shopping. Um, we've, yeah. <laughs> blown, we've blown up a morgue and uh, uh, the uh, the crematorium next to it. Um, and now we're we've upset Argos. Now, Argos now, has left us for now. Yeah, Argos has <laughs> left us. He's pissed off to local. Uh, Cleric so. <laughs> working on being catatonic. Um, so, so you you all step out of this this car. Your your Twist your... would pick the uh, the most sort of secluded. Parking spot as well. That's out of the way, you know, as much as possible. Okay. 
That's behind fine. one of those um, low bushes that they sometimes have in the, the, the car park, yeah. so it's hiding the number plate. Yeah. Uh, I reckon that that would probably come under criminology. So if you'd like to roll criminology for me. What, fi- what choosing a parking spot? No, hiding your car and swapping oh. over the pa- <laughs> What's that and- <laughs> You just look for a parking spot. No, <laughs> no this like the best place that's going to be, oh, okay. so it's not going to be seen from the road. Uh, so if you said that you, you're going to swap over the number plates as well, is that right? No, it was... No, that, no, that was... Um, no, that was, the, that was the previous one with the white van. Okay. Yeah. No, we just... We just um... Which you guys what won't is... know about. This no, was somewhere worry. completely... What? Although actually saying that, it could possibly be a good idea. Um, Twist might say to Claret Bean that she did it with Don't go and nick one from the car park we're in because that's... Um, can anybody uh, watch the car, or does um, uh, actually who's got best criminal knowledge? Me and Eddie. Well, that'll be easily Eddie, surely. Easily. Uh, yeah. I got sixty-two. What have I got? I have got fifty-four. Yeah. So she's going to ask Eddie. <laughs> she's like, Eddie, can you um possibly go and nick a number plate? Um, but subtle, not from anywhere here, but just um nick somebody's number plate from somewhere. Um. <laughs> She, you know, we've we've got tools between us anyway uh, to do so um, to swap them out. Um, well, Eddie's got a toolbox. Well, yeah, I do. Yep. And a hard hat. <laughs> and a high vis jacket, mm-hmm. which is not great for being subtle and sneaking around. The <laughs> uh, so, uh, John, what time is it, and what day is it? Okay, uh, it is October third. Let me just double mm-hmm. check when that when that would be. Uh, I think it was a Thursday. Mm-hmm. I think you made it a Thursday. Uh, let's, let's I, stop, I let's feel like he's here as well. Let's see. Yeah, I'm fairly certain it's a Thursday. Annoyingly, I didn't write it down. I, I know. The October now. 2nd. It's a it's a, if it's October the 3rd, it's Friday. It's a Friday. Friday. Even better. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and it's getting towards the end of the day, did you say? It's getting darker? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. Cool. Uh, he goes... Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. Last thing on a Friday. Oh, yeah, and it was seven o'clock because um, I've yeah. got here. Yeah. So last thing on a Friday, we're at a business park. There's going to be uh, uh, vans uh, owned by the businesses. They're not going to use them till Monday. So nice. I'll, I'll, I'll get. Yeah. All right. I, I, I got you. I got you. Okay. Um, so uh, he, he slips out. Uh, he uh, takes off the hoodie uh, that he's got on. Um, puts on the hard hat. I don't have a hard hat. Sorry. Um, Imaginary so yeah. hard hat. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it, it puts it puts on the hard hat. Puts on the high vis, um, blending in by basically being more visible, and uh, just starts walking into the business park, uh, looking for CCTV and things like that. First chance he gets, takes some number plates off a uh, off a van. Um, but uh, what he will do is he'll take out some white gaffer tape from his uh, from his toolbox and just tear a length off and put it where the um, uh, where the number plates were um, at a distance they look like number plates uh, and so uh, have you got a sharpie uh, so you can just write the numbers back on <laughs> yeah you won't go that far um, <laughs> and um, so uh, yeah and he'll just shove the um, number plates in his uh, in his toolbox and bring them back. Okay, uh, I'd like you to roll me a criminology. <laughs> sure. Oh, that's a one hundred. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I saw the I saw the double O and I was like, great. And then I saw the other one and I was like. No, Not so great. No, 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 no. <laughs> Any other side of the dice but that one. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay, what janitor or securical guy am I braining now? <laughs> <laughs> no, nothing like that at all. You've, you've got. I feel like he was having issues with the gaffer tape. Like it wasn't sticky anymore. Like it used to be. It's like. It's so it too long. Stick into my fingers, but not the bumper. What the fuck's going on? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, okay. That's fine. Um, oh, you're so weird and mysterious and not telling us what you... He's like, he's like, that's he's my prerogative. Secrets. <laughs> um, 
All right. So, you guys. Um, sorry, I'm just making a note here. They're all fucked. <laughs> <laughs> You're all fucked. Uh, no. Yeah, you know that window <laughs> I talked about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Whoops. Okay. So uh, you grab the number plate. You you put the strips of tape on, um, and you you turn around. You have a look to see if there's anyone around. Um, no one. It's totally dead. So you 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 like nailed it. So you wander off back to. Um, back to the hotel um you you actually you even decide right i'm gonna have to do a little bit of a circuitous route so that you you kind of you know make it Weaving. look like you're not coming from the <laughs> yeah you weave backwards and forwards yeah. <laughs> so, so you you put off alligators or something i don't know um anyway you find your way back to the hotel uh, and what do you do just put the number plate back onto your van or your car, yeah. rather. Yeah. So we take, well, it's a people carrier, isn't it? So yeah, yeah. We um, so Twist would have um started taking off. She'd have taken off the back one already. Um, so she's waiting for him to come to do the front one. So it is the van is, you know, the car isn't yep. without a number plate for too long. Sure. That shows. Yeah, what we do is pop the bonnet and make it look like we're just putting water into the radiator, and nice. whilst. Whilst Twist is putting the water in the uh, radiator, while I'm putting the water in the radiator, Twist's uh, just kneeling down and uh, um, switching them. Like, cool. Okay. Um, right. So. I, also, Twist looking around. Does she, does she see anybody around where they are, like car park or where you know people notice them? Uh, roll me an alertness. I've got to do that though with minus twenty. Ooh. Or is that gone now? It was four no, hours. Uh, no, so it's how many hours have we got left? <laughs> how how many half? hours is it? Uh, you've you've been deafened, which is the reason for it, and you, that was like that was definitely not four oh, hours. Oh, it's so close! I rolled a fifty-nine, and I've got uh, my alertness is seventy-six. But take twenty off of that. That's fifty-six. That's three out. <laughs> okay. So close. Okay, you do, you don't see anything. Damn you, you, you being you honest. You don't see anyone. <laughs> you don't see anybody. This is part of the fun, though. Be honest. Um, <laughs> Be so, honest and die. Be honest and go mad. Um, okay, so um, who's going into the hotel? You just kind of wandering in? Yeah, I'll, I'll um, wander over. I'll, I'll, I'll wander over and I'll book. Just Are we sharing like rooms? Are we having rooms each or...? We well, could do. Should we just do two rooms? That way we can actually keep an eye on each other, make sure we're all okay, and talk. Yeah. The thing is, we're probably going to want three rooms because um, at least some of the boys can share. But if we sleep, you're not going to want to share with the, the boys, are oh, you? Twist doesn't care. Twist yeah, is sleeping tents they're, they're, in the middle of nowhere with like about ten men at the same time. We ain't sleeping care. as well. Yeah. That's the other thing. <laughs> There's, okay, I'll, I'll book two rooms then. I'll book two yeah. rooms, two doubles. Okay, all right. So uh, you you wander in um, to make sure you get breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> so you, you wander in, and um, there's there's a small uh, uh, black woman behind the counter. Um, she, she's she's um, got her hair uh, uh, pulled back, um, and uh, she's she's wearing a, a kind of. It's like a blue uniform kind of thing. Um, that, that it's just standard with, with the hotels. You, you know, no, no big difference. Um, but you, um, she's the only person in, in the lobby area. Um, and she, she lifts her head and uh, sees, sees you all wander in. And, um, and just says, uh, oh, hello. Uh, what can I help? I... Uh, good evening. Um, I, I, I look at her name badge. Gwyneth. Uh, good evening, uh, Gwyneth. Um, I'd like to. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I do like to use people's names. Um, do you have a reservation? 
I don't have a reservation, I'm afraid. Uh, but I would like to book a couple of rooms if you have them free. Oh, no problem. We don't have many people in. Um, we go have a look. And she goes over to the computer, types in um, a couple of things. And she's like, oh, yes. Um, was there any particular type of room that you wanted? or um... uh, Two doubles, if that's all right. Of course. Then, uh, could I take your name? Well, the thing is, with hotels, they don't take cash. They so cards. They want. They want card payment. But then, the, if we've been given the like, you know, like the um, police one and stuff, would we not have also been given potentially like a card or anything with that name on as well? To no. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say. Didn't um, so in, in that case, yeah, um, I will. Yeah. And I have to give her my real name. Uh, so, no, my name's Cleric. Um, so, <laughs> no, I'll, I'll give her my. Uh, uh, Sam McTavish. Okay, uh, the, the card, she takes the card. She, try, she sorts it all out. So, she, uh, she, she types it all up and she gives you a couple of. She gives you four um, uh, key cards. Card. Key cards, yeah. Yeah, um, four key cards. And uh, she, she says. Uh, uh, they're on the, the second floor. Uh, just go down there, take a lift. Um, it's just around the corner. Oh, that's great. Um, uh, just uh, one other thing. Obviously, uh, where's the uh, the restaurant for the morning? Is it upstairs or is it downstairs? Oh, it's, it's, yeah. it's just down there through the the uh, doorway. It's the Sunshine Lounge. It's very lovely in the morning. Oh, that sounds great. Um, <laughs> are you, uh, I don't suppose they're still doing uh, still doing dinner, are they? Uh, no, but uh, they are doing some uh, uh, room service. It's oh, only me on oh, today, no, that, uh, Room service would be great. I might have to order two. I could eat a horse, to be honest well, with you. Got, we've got a few pizzas. Uh, and she she put, pushes this... Um, this it's, it's a relatively short menu. Yeah. Um, uh, obviously, it's the kind of thing where they, you know, they chuck it in the microwave or they, they have like a little grill thing that they use. Um, pizzas, perhaps some burgers. Pizza, right. burgers, yeah, that yeah. sort of microchips. Yeah. Microchips, yeah. <laughs> yeah, McCain, McCain's oven chips. Uh, yeah, no, yeah, the microchips in yeah. the box. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. I'll just... <laughs> so I, I guess. Uh, remember those. You, so you guys, uh, what are you going to do? Just order some food. She, she can send it up to your room. That's no issue with that. Um, um, I think we're probably, I think we're, yeah, once we get up there, we'd we're probably just order some, some food and munchies okay. and whatever. So you um, you you wander along uh, second floor. Um, so you're in uh, rooms um, two five and two uh, two six. So opposite each other, not next to each other. Do you mean twenty five and twenty six rather well, than two still... five and two six? Yeah, sure. Twenty five. <laughs> oh. Sometimes it's two dash five, like floor oh, okay. two, yeah. room five. So. <laughs> So, um, thank you, Simon. Don't right. give us um, more things to get lost with, John. <laughs> no, Being clarity. Clear. We have to be clear. <laughs> so I guess we all, we all bundle into the same room for the, what would, uh, the moment. Yeah, yeah so they, they are next to each other. Okay. okay, not opposite. So they are... Right, okay. Yes. So you walk along a corridor, and then you've got 2-5, and then 2-6 next to the other one. <laughs> okay, so uh, you, you, you're just all piling into one room. Yeah. yeah, I guess so, yeah, for the moment. Yeah. Okay, um, you you open the door. It's a really standard kind of uh, hotel room. There's there's two, uh, th sorry, there's a double bed and there's um, there's like a, uh, there's a, there's another bed that, that's a slightly smaller one. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it's like a kind of two and a one. It's a, a family one room. Yeah, yeah, basically. So so there's, there's enough beds for everybody, like certainly considering the other room is, is, is basically the same. There's uh, like a small area for, for you uh, to like um, make some tea. There's, there's trouser press from Corby. Yay. I was going to say, is it a Corby <laughs> trouser press? <laughs> um, Damn right. So right. Uh, as soon as Cleric walks in, before anybody starts saying anything, he just sticks the TV on on a random channel. Okay. So you, you hit the TV. The noise. Um, Icarus, what are you doing? Uh, I, I'll probably just rush straight into the room. I, I, I'm guessing at this point I've been kind of hiding this sample, like under under my jacket. I would so like no you. One knows it. 
<laughs> uh, I'd like you to roll an alertness for me, please. I can do that. I'm terrible, but I can do it. Oh, that's bad. 85 over 24. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you so, you notice a grand total of nothing. Um, <laughs> Eddie, what are you doing? So Eddie's going to do two things very quickly. Uh, first of all, he's going to go to the window and see that if we were, for example, in the need to jump out of said window, what would we be jumping out onto? Okay, uh, roll me a luck, please. Spiked ratings. So that's um, uh, D1, yeah. D100. Um, uh, if you get under 50. 51. No, 50. Yeah, 50 or yeah. under. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, it's 51 to 100 is fine, but 50 and then lower is, yeah, the other half. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Uh, 78. Okay. So, um, you walk Spiked over to ratings. the window. <laughs> yes. There's a pit of wild lions down there. Uh, <laughs> so you go over to the window, you, um, you look at the window and, uh, it's got one of those locks on it. I thought you were going to say that. Yeah, like, you know, the safe so, they only open. <laughs> so you, you, kind of, you open it up and you go, you can't open it and you look down through the, through the window and you can see uh, as cleric said there's there's um like a fence which runs alongside and there's some gravel that, that it looks like a big slope that runs down it it doesn't look like the easiest thing to get down from great uh one moment and he does the second thing that he uh that he does um <laughs> goes out into the corridor he's still wearing his kind of workman's garb um and uh knocks on the door opposite our okay. room okay uh any answer dum, 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 dum. no answer um i would like to see if i can very quietly just force the door Okay. It's, not um, that, it's not that late, is it? It's about eight or something, isn't it? Uh, we, I, 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 it's about I'd seven o'clock. Actually, actually, I'd say it's a bit later than that by now. Oh, because it, it was seven, seven o'clock when I left. started the yeah. stuff, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, so, um, yeah, I'd say, I'd say we're getting around to about eight, half eight, around about now. Um, it's not like bed, it's not like super late bedtime. Yeah. No, but you guys are feeling very tired. You've been up since... We've had a big day. Like, what, yeah. six <laughs> a.m. or something like that? And yeah. on top of that, you've murdered people. Um, yep. <laughs> really Cleric's already making a very large coffee. Yes. So you, Putting you two sachets into one of those. <laughs> two sachets? Uh, so you knock on the door and you, you, you don't hear anybody. Um, you, you don't hear anyone else around on the corridor. You don't see anybody at least. Um, so you're going to try and just force it or... or uh... Yeah, he's not going to barge it. He's just going to lean against it and keep applying pressure until it pops. The inside, uh, and if he does it this way, the inside of the door will be fucked. But the outside of the door shouldn't show bad at all. Okay. Um, yeah. So, I mean, so obviously, there's, there's going to be a roll. So. So there's a yeah. I mean, there's a little bit of finesse involved in this. Yeah. Um, what, what do you reckon that roll would be? Ooh. Uh, either stealth because that's the rate limiting factor, or demolitions. Uh. <laughs> Demolitions is um, not known for its subtlety, you know. No. Um, and besides, um, I, ro I rolled neither, demolition neither, last time, so you neither, know. It's, uh, neither are us. I did not. <laughs> yeah. Uh, would it be um, like athle athletics? Would it be unarmed combat against the? Is there an athletics? The, oh, yeah, there's an athletic skill that could be it. Yes. Um, I mean, you could just roll a standard, like a straight strength. Oh yeah. I'm I'm cool with any of these. Okay. Let's let's what, roll a straight score? strength. <laughs> Strength, strength, okay. Straight strength to to see if you are able to actually pop that door. But I'd also like you to roll a stealth if you're trying to do it quietly. So we'll go with a double roll here. Okay. Cool. Uh, so. so it's critical uh, critical success on the hey. strength. Cool. 
And then on the stealth... Uh, critical failure, 66 over 50. Oh, wow. Okay, so... <laughs> Um, when he starts walking out the room, though, can I also say that Twist starts following him to look where he's That's going? Fine. That's fine. Yeah. You, you're stood behind. You see Eddie walk over to this door, and he he pulls the, uh, the handle down, puts his shoulder against it, just goes, Hur! he goes right into the door, and you see it just cave in. And it, you're impressed. This this guy has, has like he's just totally shoved that door through just with a shoulder barge, and he's done it really nicely. The problem is it's fucking loud. So <laughs> you hear this like, boom, and it's just one um, big. Twist crash. suddenly picks up anything that's in in their room that's right next to it and tips up like basically places it on the floor, and it's like, shit. Um, and as basically she sees what he's <laughs> trying to make out. I don't know. They knock something big over in their room. Okay, so sorry, <laughs> in your room. Yeah. So she's, you're trying to cover my noise by making a noise of your own. But being a okay, clumsy roll, fucker, but not making them. the noise, but like quickly putting on the placing it on the floor. All but right. So you, making you, out it was you, that that you made your grab noise. That the, the nearest thing to you, which is the Corby trouser press. Is that cleric. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. There's the cleric on the floor. floor. Uh, so you grab the Corby trouser press <laughs> and dump it on the floor. And you go, shit. Uh, roll, roll me. Actually, no. Acting. I'm going to roll. Um, <laughs> the, the acting. Roll me an acting roll. Um... What am I rolling? All right. I, I know I am rolling. I'm rolling. Oh. Yeah. Cool. Okay, you see a door open um, about four doors down from where you are and you see um, this youngish looking guy poke his head out and Twist looks at him and goes oh, those bloody Corby trouser presses, why are they so why do we even need many more oh sorry, did I disturb you I am, um, sorry I caught my toe and it fell I don't know where my voice is going but I mean, she's going with that <laughs> so, yeah yeah, yeah, I think sorry. It's all right. It's all right. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> Bloody so, two words now. It's all good. But, oh, please, yeah, sorry. I'll leave you to it. Yeah. Thank you. It's all right. <laughs> Don't, yeah. And he closes the door. <laughs> and <laughs> uh, Eddie, though, where, where where were you, Eddie? <laughs> Um, whilst, they're, whilst they're talking in the corridor, <laughs> I'm just inside the door that I've just opened, and then the, and as soon as I hear his door close, I'll close the door to the uh, the door that I just forced, yep. um, and just look at it and go, okay, yeah, that's that's not too bad, um, and quickly <laughs> grab hold of the trouser press and uh, twist and go back into our original room. Um, uh, and twist, go, before, okay, twist. Yeah, going to say just for you to grab all the other teas and coffees. They never give you any. <laughs> you know the um I, actually that, that's a, that's a good call chicken i'll be i'll be right back yeah. um, I, um but when he comes back in uh and he'll go right obviously these rooms are under your name if we suspect that there's any rosas or anything like that coming in i'll bust or it'd be two five two six uh a bust two seven i don't know if that'd be in line wouldn't it a bust two eleven um, and if you, you up. if you yeah. see the rosas coming, if you if you hear the rosas coming, yeah, book it across to the other uh, the other room and wedge it, because they'll be searching those two rooms, and hopefully the jump on the other side is going to be much better than, well, what is frankly a shish kebab, yeah. <laughs> um, at the very least, it buys us a bit of time. Um, Sounds good. Yeah. Uh, I might nip in that room from time to time just to keep an eye out the front. All right? Uh, well, to be honest, there's not much point in me running away because my name's on the register. But then you could say that it's, um, you know, you're doing academic research over here. You could probably yeah, you know, uh, get away with it a bit more. CCTV would be a problem, but you can declare the card stolen. I just deny anything to do with you guys. Yeah. I, I, to be fair, I would deny any association with me. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Yeah. It, it, Cleric's it starting so. to collect himself and be a little bit more 
Okay, we did. so you're a little bit more with it. A little bit. Okay, so you're mm -hmm. actually by the TV and uh, the... making a making a double double sachet coffee. So and, there's uh, yeah, there's there's just um, it, it just goes on to uh, BBC. Not uh, the news. If it's the, it's news, the news, I flick yeah. the channel. <laughs> off, like, no off more sanity news. today. Yeah, no, it's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's Friday night TV. It's, oh, oh, I don't know. Whatever was on in 2014. In 2014. Oh, okay. um, you start watching um, uh, TFI Friday. Friday. That, 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 that was on later, wasn't it? That was. That, was. that, 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 that wasn't on until 2014. That would have been early yeah, 2000s. Um, anyway, rather than Called getting into what was that. on TV in 2014, because <laughs> I honestly don't remember. Um, so you you just know that's much earlier. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, you, so you're flicking just, around. Yeah, yeah, I'm not the time for that. Mm -hmm. That was on Saturday night it's anyway. All right, then. Look, we're, we're fine then. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they were on every bloody night. Felt like it. Icarus. Mm. You are stood in the room and. You're just stood there. And you have in your pocket you have this little uh, little glass jar. And you, it's, um, your hand is around it. You got you you got your hand in your pocket and you're just kind of you're just playing with this little jar. Mm. And just, That's not how the Alanis Morris that song goes. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's his right hand, isn't it? Um <laughs> And you notice something. You f you feel movement in the jar. Mm. Then I will take the jar out of my pocket and give it a look. So you you pull this jar out and you look at it, and it looks like uh, looks like a bit of gristle or tendon, or, or something like that. But it's got this real like, bluish tinge to it. And it's not doing anything. You stood there, and then you can start seeing it just kind of move. It starts moving a little bit like a, a worm, or something like that. It's like a slight pulsation that runs along it. And you realize it's, it looks like it's trying to find its way out of the jar. Like it's, it's moving its way around, almost like it's feeling. Um, I'd like you to roll me sanity, please. <laughs> okay, sanity. 23. Under and that's under. 64. Yeah. You, you are such a like I do not know how you're doing this. It's he, amazing. He is a cold, cold man. He is. <laughs> See he um he has the jar in his hand, he like watches it move and he just sort of actually kind of smiles a little bit and nods and goes sort of mutters under his breath. Ah finally. And as you, you have this kind of this moment. You, in the back of your mind, you you have a moment of it's really weird. It's almost like a recognition. It's almost like a feeling of deja vu. Hmm. I, I've very few times have I been stood here with a jar with a weird little blue thing in it. That's trying to find its way out. It's wiggly, wiggly. <laughs> and yet you are having this, this this moment of deja vu. Hmm. He kind of turns the jar around in his hand a few times and actually just sort of watches it. And he doesn't speak to anyone else in the room. He's just kind of staring at it and he just starts almost like just muttering to himself a little bit under his breath as he's doing it. Uh, cleric, you are stood there. You're making your coffee. And you you're like you, you five packs of sugar or whatever, and you um, you uh, notice on the TV uh, that news is starting to come up. Um, 
you just turn it over. Cool. And <laughs> you have um, something like the voice on, or some kind of I don't know cookery show or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, yeah, it's yeah. Like, <laughs> Uh, the like, the the extra slice. Yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. It, it, you know, you 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 end up with come dime with me or something. Like that. If they did no, the extra oh, slice in, 20, in, in yeah. 2014, I don't think they did, yeah. did they? No, did I, they? Don't, I don't know. They had Bake no. Off. Um, but I don't they had Bake they Off definitely, but I don't think BBC did the extra slice. Maybe no, maybe not. No, maybe not. So, what are you guys anyway. doing? You 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 are now all. You're in your hotel room. You are relaxing. Perhaps right. making Twist some coffees. Ta- yeah, Twist is going. She's not going to want to. She's going to take her DMs off, but she's going to leave the like them right. But by... she's going to sit cross-legged on the smaller bed mm-hmm. with her shoes off. But she's going to have her shoes right next to the bed. Um, the boots, you know, pulled open, so it's really easy for her to just slip them back on. Yep. Um, and she's grabbed a family pack, size pack, you know, like the larger things of, I don't know, some kind of flaming hot something or other. That one, of, one of her multiple packets of crisps that she bought from earlier on. Sure. <laughs> and so she's sitting, just munching them, um, and going to start talking to the others of what, what the fuck we should do. So eventually... If whilst, she can't whilst... smoke, she's going to eat junk. <laughs> you're, so you're all sat there. Food comes <laughs> up after a little bit of time. You grab all, it. All drink, yeah, for, yeah. I was going to say food. So food comes up. You, you, perhaps like a couple of drinks, things like that. Um, and um, yeah, the the, uh, the the floor is yours. What, what are you doing? So, um, how do? What do you think we or anybody got any suggestions right now for how the hell we cover this up? This is. Um, uh, it's got a little bit out of hand and uh, wild, a lot wilder than we was expecting. <laughs> Twist, you say a little bit out of hand. I would say a total clusterfuck if I were. <laughs> well, I you don't know, think we've got say... any. I don't think, to be honest, we've not got much chance of. If somebody puts two and two together and gets us, we've got no fucking chance. The only hope we've got is that the. The wee lassie, the secretary, has got shocking short-term memory and forgets the fuck what we look like. Well, other than the secretary, who else would have seen us there? Who could place us well, there? There's a. Who did we tell we were coming here? The 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 lassie from um, whatever the thing's called. Uh, hang on. Uh, uh, the HSA. Uh, so yeah. the, the lassie yep. from the HSA knows we were going there. Yep. Can we um, not say that we hadn't actually arrived yet? And when we did, we saw the mess. Uh, no, she's a friendly, so... She is a friendly. Yeah. She might not like it, but she's not going to dob us in for that. Yeah. Um, I can't remember above table. Did we tell any of the policemen that we were going there? I don't you, think so. You asked somebody. We did ask somebody, but I can't remember who. Uh, but we can, but we, with them, building. with them, we can just say no. We never got there. And if it was only one of us, then they're not going to maybe put all of us together as a. Maybe. I you mean, isn't this to defeating the object? Either way, whether we can concoct a story or not, it's going to get in the way of the mission. I mean, we're due over in the was it Y Valley? Was it? Hey, we got, oh, got trekking in the, uh, the, hey, got, got trekking in the hills. I mean, that's currently our best bet. Get and also, to the up- part of our mission was to leave no trace. And right now, sadly, that well, girl is um, a trace. Leave I no can't... trace of the supernatural. What's, what's just happened is, okay, it was a fuck up, right? And it was, uh, and it was my fuck up. But what it was say- is totally fucking mundane. Yeah. Gas gas mains set on fire, twin towers fall down. I mean, I created a fucking tragedy that they'll be talking about for years, but they won't be. I tell you what, they're not going to be think. They're not going to be remembering about the couple that died. I I've pretty much obliterated it from the fucking news, mate. As that, I mean, do you think there's going to be any evidence? I know there was a big explosion, so do you think we're safe for? Uh... 
um, evidence of us being there. I, like, um, I tell you what, if that DNA, well, uh, I mean, with that much fire, I mean, okay. if they find if they find it, good luck to them. I mean, we could always say that we were there. It doesn't mean that we did anything. And if they're going to do a the, if they're going to do a DNA, in, oh well, yeah, the, the, this stuff that's going to be leading to us, yeah. Mm. But the point is that takes months to build a case, even to get to arrest at this point. I mean, they got to pick through all the fucking rubble, find out what happened. Hopefully, the fire has obliterated all of the blue shit. Yeah, mm. that's the only thing I'm concerned about. Well, to be honest, if they start coming, pointing fingers, saying "Were you there?" We say, "Yes, we were," and he was looking sketchy when we left. I mean, shit. <laughs> if it comes down to it, I'll do bird. Yeah. What's, if that's what bird. Oh uh, shit. Uh, um. Uh, say it was me. Oh no! You, no, you can't. No, no, do no. It. Uh, look, what, what's the worst that's gonna happen? I'll get arson, right? Yeah. I mean, shit. We, we work for Pisces, mate. You, if they need me for another mission, they'll just pull me out. Yeah. If I have to go that's do true. bird for a while, that then that. I mean, shit. There's worse things going on at the moment than me going off, and okay, probably sharing a cell with some wanker, but getting my food every day. All right. I, at the moment, at the moment, I don't really care about that. I mean, I I've always known that some of the shit that I was going to do was going to get me bird. Yeah. Well, maybe but, we can. Um, we would have to do a couple of things. I I really don't want you to. I, I want to try and stop anything like you know you going down. Obviously. And and I I would prefer it too. But the point is, if it comes down to it, right? If it really comes down to it. Well, you lot haven't got priors. You've got good backgrounds. Yeah. You can just say, I went mental. You didn't know what to do. You were scared. You was on the run with an idiot. Right. I'm giving you permission here and now that if it gets the worse, turn on me. Right. All three of you. And hopefully, Isnibs who's stuck in a pub somewhere. I think he's probably got the best disguise of all. He's just another distraught person in St. Ives, right? But if it well, turns to it, you turn on me, right? You're the victim here. Got it? And carry you know, on with the mission. You know, his cleric is uh, is looking at you with a, <clears throat> not a calculating look on his face. That's not quite right, but you know, you know what I mean? There's that, that sort of thinking face. Because prior to this, you probably would have noticed him trying to not uh, sort of like be like away from you, like not next, not next to you. Because yeah. he's murdered somebody directly in front of him. It's not. Well, not, not in front of him. He was right. next. Like, he was the other side okay. of the door. Well, <laughs> for a normal person, that's still right in front. Of him. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, so I mean, and that frightened him. I mean, he. He's a big lad, and he can he can cut you know he can he can stand up for himself, but that frightened him. Uh, but with you saying that, he's got a he's he's looking at you with almost like almost uh, almost a little bit maybe a little bit of respect in his eyes for you sort of saying, "Come what may, I'll take it." Um, Twist is going to Twist. Natalia is actually really touched uh, by all that. Twist is starting to feel touched and thinking it's really that's a really honourable thing to say. But also, Twist, having her background, wants to get a read on him first to whether he means it. Um, could I roll a human or something for that one? Yeah, sure. Using her background. Um, let's see. Um... Humans is um well. It, this would be an opposed thing. So, what's she opposing? Because she, it's basically she's just trying to work out. Um, well, you're, you're trying to work out Eddie. Is that right? His, his but intentions. Eddie, yeah. Eddie's yeah, relenting. Sense. Yeah, Eddie's relenting. So, if you're trying to work out Eddie's intentions, then what you're actually doing is that. That's why it would be an opposed thing. So oh, okay. mm -hmm. you would you'd be rolling um, a, a human, Natalia. Mm -hmm. And um, Simon would be rolling probably a persuade. 
Yeah. 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 Um, because I'm relenting, can Natalia get a bonus? Yes. Or I get a penalty <laughs> either way. Yeah. I'm rolling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I actually, uh, Eddie, you you have the penalty. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's absolutely fine anyway. Without any of that, I got a uh, critical success. Yeah, but we're good. <laughs> yeah. All good. Okay, so I, I'm assuming that that Eddie is is being uh, genuine about this. Yeah. So Natalia, on your uh, sorry, twist on your uh, critical success. He's absolutely. I, it, you're almost disturbed with how calm he is about it, and this isn't like a well-practiced speech that he's never said before. This is something he's said before. Um, um, you know that he's fr- he did roll with a criminal gang and you're just like, shit, they've already decided in the past who's going to take the fall for a job. So Twist is used to working with lots of different types of people in, in her line of business um, and, you know, some criminals all different but levels of people. However, most people are trying to save their own back, um, or you know, or trying to cover things. They they're not quite as um, heroic or whatever in that way. You know that they they wouldn't sort of um, take the fall in that way. Um, so she's actually really quite. It's quite different for her. She's quite touched, and um, especially for how short a time. Crazy Eddie has been with the rest of them as well. Um, so yeah, so Twist, but Twist believes him, and she's. Um, but she will say to him like, oh, "Eddie, we're going to do everything we can." This, you know, if, yeah, if I know. you feel that way, I, I honestly am so incredibly touched that that's I've I've never wow. known anybody to. It's just to common be, be sense, mate. To do that before. It's just but common still. sense. There's no point in us all going down. Yeah. Well. If the worst happened and, and that did happen, yes, we have Pisces, but also people I know, I will try to um, use all resources to make sure that yeah. they get you out. But Just I'm not going make to sure my you. family's all right and, and we're good. I'm also going right? to make sure you get the best solicitor as well. Don't worry about that. We'll, we'll get you the best. Um... Okay, yeah, that, that that's all that's all cushy, but let's face it, no no solicitor's going to be able to get me a better cell or something. It, you know, I'll, I'll sort myself out on the inside. Um, Ooh, well, but, it depends how bent the solicitor is and what they what strings they've got to pull. Oh bloody hell! <laughs> mate. Now you're now you're talking my style. Um, but no, I, as I say, I, I'm not throwing myself on a sword here. But if it comes down to it, oh fuck! I'll get a shooter from the car. If I think they were about to be rumbled, I'll be pointing the gun at you. So at least then, you can turn around with some believability and say that I've been twisting your arm. All right. To be fair, that will get you a lot more than arson. But it'll well, sell it. This yeah. it, this isn't about getting me a a lighter sentence or any shit like that. I blew up a fucking city block. Bing! Right? I've got oh, a lot of blood my on my friend. hands. And to tell you the truth, I've had a lot of blood on my hands. If any one of us fuckers needs to go to prison, it is kind of me. Right? It's long overdue. Now... <laughs> Don't get me wrong, if I can go out and sort the rest of this mission and then go spend the rest of my time living in the arse end of Wales, I'll do it, yeah, to avoid bird. But if not, we sort this now, all right? Okay. So I have a couple of things that we do need to take care of. Well, several things. One, the van. I think we need to um, get rid of it, burn it, so it doesn't exist anymore. Yep. Um, which means we do need some kind of transportation to um, the lady um, can sort of recognise us, not sure what to do with her just yet. Um, and three, um, Argus is quite uh, in some kind of, you know, shock and I'm not sure what his mental state is at the moment, whether he would just try and tell the police or hand us over it's his first mission with with Spicy so I don't know how you know how how um, level he's going to be at the moment or if he's going to be an issue hopefully he wouldn't but I have no idea where he is I was hoping that Argus would actually sort 
the receptionist out, but sounds like you, you need mean... to send somebody in for both of them. I don't really want to... Um... No, August might be perfectly fine, but don't forget he has photos galore. He's constantly taking photos, which put us at the... Uh... See. Scene of every crime. <laughs> Has August God. become the mission? I would. Uh, <laughs> when they start, when Twist starts talking about, I don't know what to do about the secretary. Maybe we have to sort her out too. Yes. Cleric just gets up and walks out. <laughs> okay. I mean, cleric. Do you have? As he's going, she sees him start getting up. She says, look, look, cleric. What, what do you suggest with how do we get out of this one? Shuts the door, walks down the corridor. Okay. I mean, fuck's sake. Eat he has a point. You. I mean, oh. <laughs> there's no point in taking her out anyway. She didn't see anything hooky, did she? I mean, when all's said and done, all she saw is a bunch of us assholes go in and blow the shit up. Was there any CCTV around near anywhere near the morgue and everything that may put us at the scene of the crime at the time? <laughs> you think there's anything left? Even that, believe me, there's no little black box that they keep that lot in. It's normally some cruddy little back room that's uh, a converted, uh, yeah. yeah, it, uh, yeah, it's some sort of fucking VCR. Uh, don't don't worry about. It. I mean, this is in Ives are crying out. It's, it's it's not it's not Metropolitan Police. So 2014, it's more, 2014 yeah. in rural, it's more just where, where, in rural no, it's, St. Yeah, Ives. St. Ives. You're, you're not going to have like um, high tech digital surveillance. Yeah. It's going to be ring doorbells uh, everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Icarus, no cloud we, systems uh, in 2014. No, no. <laughs> not for this shit. Anyway, no, not yeah. yet, not yet. Icarus, were you going to say something? Yeah, well, Icarus, when Cleric sort of leaves the room, we will just go. I don't think our colleague quite has the stomach for this, but. You do raise a good point. The secretary is a loose end, and we cannot be discovered until this threat has been eliminated. Well, it, is she really a loose end, though? I mean, what did she see? Did she any? Did she see anything supernatural, or did she just see our ugly mugs? She saw us. She, she saw, saw us, us, but then arrive. it puts us there at a certain time, doesn't it? Yeah, but that's. That, I, I thought loose ends was them knowing about supernatural shit. That's what I, I, I think I just, it extends to, but the main issue would be if we are arrested, we cannot complete our mission. I think that's mm. going to be on the table whether we bump her off or not, mate. In fact, if we bump her off, I think it'll actually uh, get rid of what window we have. Just Because we'd have to go back and do it. Just to remind you. Mm. Just to remind mm -hmm. you. So, th this is... Your, your priorities. There are essentially five priorities in place. So the, the first priority is stop the incursion, whatever that may be. The second yep. priority is obscure the incursion. So obviously tie up those loose ends, make sure that no one knows about them. Minimize awareness. Uh, prevent the damage from spreading. The third priority is obscure Pisces involvement in any of this. So you get picked up, you don't work for Pisces. You're just a, a, a lone crazy person with a gun, whatever it might be. Yep. The fourth priority is secure any advanced technology. So anything that you find, anything that is a bit weird, you don't really know what it does, take it to, to Pisces. I think we've taken some of that from the um, lab, haven't we? Yeah. You've, you've done that previously. And the fifth priority, this one's the doozy, save lives. <laughs> There's nothing there about murder. <laughs> There's nothing there about, you know, blowing things killing up. Killing people, yeah, blowing things up. This said, the second priority is obscure the incursion. Minimize awareness, <laughs> awareness of it. Develop a plan to explain it away. Make sure the public has a mundane, boring story to tell. That's that's something that is perhaps going through your minds at this point. You're thinking about this. You're you're considering your options. And the the idea of of like taking out the uh, the secretary is is perhaps obviously a bit of an issue for Claret might be pushing the envelope yeah. well we could say could, ooh, oh actually yeah all of the um 
computers and stuff from there would be destroyed, wouldn't they? So, oh, actually, let me do it in twist. So we could say uh, as the, um, you know, all of the computer systems and everything at the morgue would have been destroyed, there would be no proof from their side that somebody I know um, doctored the um, uh, permissions to, to let us near the bodies. Therefore, when we went to the morgue, uh, as far as the... Oh, no, she remembered that we had had that through. I was about to say that the girl was there when he said that we couldn't go in. But then she was also there when he said we could, wasn't she? Because then he let the, mm. her off. Um, uh, you don't or know may, what... Perhaps we could, yeah, perhaps we could say that we... We just... This is, we went in and, and left. I don't know. I don't I know mean, if... Um, at, at the moment, what I'm hearing is, is kind of... There's a lot of... we. You know, there's a lot of different avenues you could take this. Um, and I expect this kind of conversation goes on for a bit. Does anybody go after the cleric? Twist is going to let him have some time. Cleric, what are you doing? I am down in the car park. Okay. Busy so smoking my way through a packet of cigarettes, I think. You go into <laughs> the, uh, you, you, you go into like a, a, a corner shop that's sort of nearby. Like a off license. It's nice in 2014 though. Probably still have a cigarette machine in the. In the yeah, they probably do actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you you want well, to. Although saying that, it's early enough to buy it for normal price from a normal shop, whereas the lobby. Well, it in depends on. Oh, okay, yeah. If they, yeah, if there's a. <laughs> yeah, if there's, if there's Claric, a little corner shop around the corner. Cleric yeah. is a made man. He doesn't need to worry too much about. It. Um. He. He. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, so, so he, he goes, he, he basically loads himself up on cigarettes. He, uh, he starts, not, starts to smoke. He's not drinking though. You know, it's, I mean, normally cleric is quite happy to have a, uh, a whiskey, a couple of whiskeys, yeah. whatever. Okay. No, nope. no drink. Twist picks up another slice of pizza and then <laughs> Well, much she's she's eating and talk, so she's talking it a lot with a mouthful, but she's you know doing it anyway. Um, oh, I tell you what, if there's a little corner shop around the corner, although he's probably had a slice, couple of slices of pizza upstairs, is there like a like a kebab shop or a, uh, a Chinese or like a yeah, sure. kind of so he's basically wandering around, wandering around, the, uh, wandering around the car park with it, say. A kebab, smoking cigarettes, eating while he walks around. Well, he, not continuously walking, but just sort like of just sitting there. And he's stress, got, stress eating and smoking. Smoking and just, and just trying yeah. to keep his mind off of shit. He's got his headphones in. He's just like, all right. Okay, almost so, like head in his hand sort of thing. So every now and again, cleric, you you hear the sound of silence. Um. So. Yeah. Twist. So, um, basically, if um, I don't think any cameras would be, um, you know, around that area anymore to um, put us at a particular time at the morgue. However, um, however, speed cameras and things like that, you know, or ANPR cameras, which did exist in 2014, um, may have picked us up on different um, routes to be in the area. I mean, if we can lag being somewhere else slightly at a different so so we would be there but slightly early perhaps um or something sounds um, like it's basically you need, sounds like you need somebody with some kind of ability with computers <laughs> um twist also says hang on a moment as well i'm sure i heard a beep um you did a beep beep didn't you i did do a she beep. opens she opens a shitty burner phone <laughs> you uh you pop open the phone um and um, you see that there is a, a message uh, from Twatface. <laughs> that was the one. <laughs> yes. And um, Twatface <laughs> says, you are the last line of defense. <laughs> is there any dots? Or is it literally just that? That's it. Do you read it out loud? <laughs> Twist you... says, just says, he's fucking useless. <laughs> I, I just, I just imagine the, the the first word being in in full caps. Um, Twist is you. going to send back an emoticon oh. of giving him the bird. <laughs> Nothing else. 
you you get ding a little bit later. Just a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so you while away these hours and you you chat this stuff through. Um, nothing nothing happens, uh, cleric. You you are you're in the car park for I don't know an hour. Yeah, hour just, and a half. Just, some of just decompressing, taking yourself away from them. Twist. Uh, Eddie, Icarus, I imagine you're, you're, you're sat there and you're just discussing all of this. You're trying to work out perhaps what the best options are. Um, and you realize just how tired you actually are. You are all absolutely exhausted by this point. So we're, we're hitting like uh, 11 o'clock midnight. You've had a really long day. You've Twisted. murdered people. You know, before Twist, <laughs> before Twist goes to sleep, she's going to try and phone. Um, uh, what's his face? Murray. Murray as okay. well. Okay. Because, um, so what? You know, he, um, about, he didn't about, answer before. About midnight. Yeah. Okay. What? What are you, are you uh, calling him on his personal phone? Yeah, she's just checking. He's okay. Okay. Ding ring. Ring, ring. No answer. She's going to send a message to him in code, MI6 code of, you know, basically saying, are you okay? Okay. Give me an update. Give me the skinny. How you doing? <laughs> okay. So. That, that was her guy who helped us get the other email, you know, like the, the permissions changed. Hmm. You, you all go to He's bed? He's a computer guy. Are you, all, are you all heading to bed for the night? Is Cleric back in the room? Yeah, so, I would think so. That, that yeah. late, yeah. Um, Cleric, I know, I know this is a lot to deal with. Um, I know, um, and I know uh, Specs used to be able to do this kind of thing, but are you ever able to log into the AMPR systems? I just look at her and go, I'm not a hacker, list lassie. Do we know any? I write, than... I write programs. For... Above board, can I poss could we possibly message Specs? <laughs> Specs is who we've worked with before. <laughs> um... Who's, um, who's that, you know, is an actual player. <laughs> Yeah, but he's you, um you, you could do. he's a what is he? He's a computer He is a, a he's a, a forensic <laughs> accountant, actually. Yeah. Um yeah, you, you could do that if you want to. So Swiss will mess message him and say something along the lines of ANPR um and something she'll write a something that basically consists of can you ANPR. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So you send it off. You don't get a response. Um it's late. I wait to it's late. It's late. It's it's getting late. You're feeling incredibly exhausted now. Um I was gonna I, say to the others as well, I've I've exhausted um a lot of my ideas right now. And talking of exhausted, I'm bloody knackered. What about you guys? I could do some rest as well. It's been a long day. Adrenaline's burning off. Yeah. Should we do just like short nap should we do the equivalent of short rests, or should we take watches, or should we just, you, what should we do? Totally up to you. Bear in mind, if you do watches and things like that, that is going to affect uh, your exhaustion, and you will then start to, basically, if you spend too long working, or you're too long exposed to danger or fear, or you've just been up for, for too long, then that will have uh, an, an issue with your, your willpower. So you will lose that, and you will so, also uh, become yeah. exhausted. Um, so Twist will say then, uh, well, how about um, you try and sleep till, say, six or half six, so it's not too late or anything, And um, but we make sure everything's by the beds, ready to go in a hurry if we need to. Okay. Um, and that way. I, I just nod and go, uh, fair enough, and go into the other room and just crash out in the, crash out in the bed 
Twist is going to roll herself up in a little bed like a burrito. <laughs> is there any particular rooms that you guys are going in, Eddie and Chris? Um, Twist I literally says, we should sleep, and then instantly rolls up and instantly <laughs> sleeps. <laughs> Icarus will follow Cleric out. Go to the other <laughs> okay, so uh, so you head into the room with Cleric, and Eddie, I guess you, you stay in the room with Twist. Yep. Okay, so... Oh, Eddie, on, Eddie, Eddie can I'm, do I'm the Shane. full wide spread again on the bed. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sharing the room with Herbert West. <laughs> with his little tentacle. <laughs> it's, well, yeah, I just imagine yeah, the choice between the killer and in, the guy the, with the blue goo. So you know, or or, or the <laughs> the the boss. Um, so I just imagine it's like waking up in the middle of the night and seeing him sit, still sitting on the other bed, so like looking at this face bathed in this like blue glow, giggling, game. whispering to <laughs> it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Stroking the vial, talking to it in hushed tones. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you definitely see him staring at it when you wake up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so every, everybody, um, everyone goes to sleep. Twist loses her stupid four hours of weak alertness. Woo! <laughs> yes, you do. Yeah. We, we all do, don't we? I mean, I think I had it as well. Oh, did you? Uh, yeah. well. Yes, that's from the gunshot. Though. Hmm. It was all a bit deaf, yeah. <laughs> Icarus, you are suddenly woken up. And you have flashes of just as you're as you're coming coming to consciousness. You're having these flashes of uh, like a, a memory, um, a, almost like a, a weird dream, to something like like it, it feels real, but it's not. Um, you felt you feel much taller. You feel like you're towering over um, a, a, a desk or a slab or. Some kind of area where there's papers spread out, and you you have a moment of you think this is my study. This is where I work. This is this is where I do the things that I do. I'm comfortable here. <laughs> And you look down at these papers and you realize that they're, they're, they're not just papers, but they're, they're kind of rolls of parchment and books and heavy tomes. And you don't recognize them necessarily, but they also feel familiar. There's a weird glow in the room. And a strange kind of sound that is just building up around you and you you don't really know where it's coming from it sounds like machines or talking or kind of trumpeting but you, you don't, you can't work it out. You understand it. And it's people talking, or is it, well, something's talking. And it's telling you almost a story about what you're living through now. What you are looking at with this thing in a jar. You're looking at it and you understand that you've witnessed this before. This is something that has happened before. And you're writing it down in this book. But it's not you. But how can that be? It's not you. But why is it that you're writing and you're also stood there 
holding this thing and you're asleep. You're in that bed, you're comfortable, you're, you're dreaming about your wife. There's noises, there's talking, there's chattering behind you, there's something going on. You are too tall. Why are you so tall? Why are your, why are your hands this shape? This is not right. You all wake up around about, say, 9 a.m.? Nine? I thought we were getting up at six. You're going to get up at six? You'll wake up around about six. <laughs> I assume you set alarms. Yeah. Okay. So you'll wake up around six. <laughs> um, Icarus, I'd like you to roll me a sanity check for that night's sleep. Ooh. Can I keep the streak going? Can you? <laughs> I can with a fifty-one. You bitch. <laughs> 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 You're like Teflon, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, you wake up. It's a lovely day. Do you go and get some breakfast down at the uh, your breakfast nook? Yep. Uh, and, and Two breakfasts. At the Sunshine Lounge. Uh, you walk in, the, the, the Sunshine Lounge has got a few people in there. There's there's um old couple over there. There's there's the guy that, that you disturbed uh, last night. Hi. Hi. How's your trouser face? It's been banished. Oh, sorry, it's huh. been banished. Huh. <laughs> yeah. I hate them. Huh. Yeah. And he goes. I moved it to the bathroom. <laughs> it's a stupid thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> don't don't let you keep yourself. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he goes. And he he picks up some rice krispies and goes over into the corner and eats. And um, he's with the most beautiful woman. He, it's incredible. It's like a supermodel. Twist that he's <laughs> face stays like this, but inside she's. Yeah. <laughs> she's managed <laughs> she's honed the experience of being able to hide the shock or what the this, <laughs> from this, her face. This, this guy lacks <laughs> personality That's all right. um okay so you, you all eat um you, you the um, radio twist song going to take a couple music of boxes playing of, and, yeah. twist will stick a couple of boxes of cereal in, a, in her bag okay. she will also take for breakfast she will make herself some kind of bacon sandwich um, that she'll eat there, okay. and then she will take it's... herself another bacon sandwich or sausage sandwich that she makes from the toast and everything okay. with her um, later. So um, the woman that was there last night at, at, at the uh, at the desk, she's she's um, uh, gone home now. Uh, you assume she's not around at least. Um, and and there's uh, there's a, a guy who, who's um, he's quite short. And he's, he's a little bit a little bit round. Um, he comes up to you and he's like, yeah, "Good night's sleep." Lovely. Yeah, thank you. Do, do let me know if uh, you like. Really need anything well, thank you very much. Good. good. And uh, we have and... a uh, work conference, so we have to get going in a minute. Is it right if we start to check out in a minute? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Yeah. That's all right. So he he disappears. He starts serving some other people. You, are you guys uh, just having breakfast and then checking out? Is that basically what you do? I'm having as much breakfast as I can possibly fit in my oh, large okay. frame. All good. <laughs> so Icarus barely eats anything. He takes like a little slice of toast and just takes a little bite of it and then okay, doesn't bother. I'm joining cleric in just packing it down. Twist understands the importance of you don't know necessarily when you've got time to eat again. So you, you eat. Fair. You eat, eat. Yeah. <laughs> so as Might you... Might stuff a couple of bananas in their bag as well. As you... <laughs> I'm going to have any space for anything else. Yeah. <laughs> as you, uh, you you wander out to the <laughs> the um, uh, the lobby, carrying as much uh, breakfast food as you possibly can. She's got a sausage, her, she's got a sausage sticking Surretish. out of her mouth, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> like a cigar. Yeah. She's um, Delta Green, not Debbie Does Dallas. That's true. <laughs> so you, you you go over to where the uh, the, the lobby uh, is, and you, you the guys stood there, and uh, so I was saying, you you, uh, you, you 
going then all right no problem let me let me sort that he, he starts ringing it all up and everything oh did, did you hear a lot of news last night oh it's terrible it's terrible oh. do you know uh, oh, do you know i was so tired i just went straight to sleep i was absolutely battered well um, no i will catch up on i'll have to listen to the radio on the way to our conference yeah that, it's, it's awful news yeah yeah, yeah, it's at least two dead. It's at least two dead. Oh. It's awful, awful news. How horrible. And, yeah, yeah, they're looking for a blonde woman, a big Scottish yes. man, and a... a... <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, <laughs> Twist, already, Twist already had a wig <laughs> on before that. She's She's got, like, multiple wigs. So. With with that, we will take a very quick <laughs> break. Um, And we will be back in roughly ten minutes. And then we will uh, do. We will wrap up. And everyone will die and go insane. So, and... Yes, we will do more things than just eat breakfast. Um, well, there's no guarantee. Uh, <laughs> see you in ten minutes. Bye. See you then. Hello. You're back. <laughs> Good to see Hello. you. Hello. Yes, I was almost too frightened, but I came. <laughs> I'm glad people came back because we've we've got some uh some delightful fun and uh, as we were just saying uh, in in the during our break that you didn't hear. This is super super depressing fun. It's great. Um <laughs> so you are all outside um, the, the streets have kind of got busier 
there are people around. You can see your your car is just parked up over in the corner. Doesn't look like it's been kind of molested in any way um, by, by passing youths. Um, Youth. Yeah. Youths. Um, you, you have your day ahead of you. Um, you have options. Twist is a bit um, unsure of how to deal with a lot of these things. So she's going to say, well, I think we should get this van car thing. What fucking lump of rubbish. Anyway, uh, we should get this burnt out somewhere and destroyed. But we should also probably make our way to um, uh, Y Valley. Right, we also need to find Argos, to be honest. Does anybody have his number? Would we have taken each other's numbers when we um, first started? Now, this, this is a thing, isn't it? Nobody said that they did. Yeah, but nobody also said that they did. I mean, it doesn't work that way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, you, you could pretty well, much say anything about it, couldn't you? <laughs> Harold Lemon would have his. At okay. Most. So, at okay. worst case, Twist will message Howard, uh, Harold Lemon and go, look, be some fucking use. Fine. Okay. Um, and then say, can you... Give, give us Argos's number. Yeah, give us Argos's number. <laughs> okay. So you you, um, you, you message um, uh, your, your best friend, Harold Lemon. Twatface. Yeah. Twatface. Um, and you, you... I think he was actually down as Douche Canoe originally. Douche Canoe, phone, okay. But... <laughs> <laughs> so you, you message um, Mr. Douche Canoe to you. Um... <laughs> And you're a poet and you don't know it. And, uh, <laughs> yes, so, so you send it off and you, you wait a little bit of time. Um, and um, don't get any response straight away. Have I had any reply from Specs this morning? No. <laughs> okay. Have I had any reply from uh, Murray? Your computer dude, yeah. Yeah. You have a text message. Oh, I have a text message. <laughs> Let me check my text. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes, it is. It is from Murray, and he uh, he's basically saying, um, "Don't know what happened there. Had to leave quite quickly. Hope you managed to get." done what you needed to get done we're even never call me again <laughs> um, do I know what he means but I don't know what happened there I had to leave quickly as in is he talking about that he saw a shadow coming behind him is he talking about you don't what know he... mm. um, she will text back Thank you. Um, something about next one's on me, meaning a drink, sure. or whatever. Um, and next say, murder is on me. <laughs> um, did uh, and she put in code something along the lines of any? Did anybody see, or was you seen? Was so you you know, off. was it clear? Um, um, is there a McDonald's? If so, Twitch yep. will be buying chicken nuggets. <laughs> Pretty That's sure that on their journey. <laughs> Even though um, you have absolutely stuffed yourself full of various breakfast foods. Twist is an, em you, an open vessel that she can just keep eating. <laughs> I'm astounded that Twist is not the size of a house. But, nope, you know, she's tiny. Yeah. Um, that li living our dream lives you know, through role yeah. play. <laughs> yes. Um, um, so, um, Twist and ask the other. So, um, what? Any any idea where to? What to do first, or where to go first, or how to should, should we, crash this thing? Shall we um, collate? Shall we, we arrange information and, uh, so we know where where we're going, what what we have happening? Let, let's okay. let's make it easy. So, um, you you guys, you've obviously you have uh, you've gone over to um, the house and. Um, had a look around uh, the, the Greaves house um, and you you have 
uh, found some information there. Do you remember the information that you found? How's your notes with that? Uh, oh, wrong, wrong, hang on, I'm on the wrong bit. Um, I have got information from house. Let's see, hang on. <laughs> I love how it oh. just turns into your head. <laughs> <laughs> um, Oh, um, Northwestern's genetics program. Um, let's let's blood um, type process anti AVD. Twenty one million no beneficiaries. So um, there's, there's, what there's else have I got? I've got I, I everything say, paid through the Cayman Islands. Uh, potential holdings. Yeah. So limited uh, lab built in twenty ten. So Check stubs. Lister. Aaron Silkman paid to build it over mix up. So mm. I've also got loads of stuff about Amanda. And diary of Wells delivery every couple of months. Dinner okay. Belton and Wells Detective Agency. Okay. I got notes. <laughs> okay. So, so we've got a detective yeah. agency. We've got um, a dead uh, multimillionaire. Aaron's, yeah, with a stripper girlfriend. Shulman. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, so there's there's a few things there. You could potentially look into that kind of thing. Um, there, so there's yeah, potential holdings. You don't know what that's that's regarding. Um, you you also have, or rather, I think Argus has two dead crows. Um, I, I assume he just wandered out with them. I don't know. Or did you leave them in in the? Um, I think they were bagged up somewhere. Yeah, yeah you I think um, Argos put him in a sandwich baggie or something, didn't he? He had a big baggie. Did. Bag did. The question is, is oh, no, did he put it? No, or? did he put it in the cold box where the guns yes. were? Yes. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So they're so they're in oh, a cool box, isn't it? So yeah. they're in a cool in box the, in your uh, in your car. In the boot. Right. Yep. Um, you have uh, yes, you have Riverside Business Park that that went up in flames. That um, that that housed what? the um, blame, blame it on a serial arsonist. You never know. Mm. I mean, bloody gas works. The, just, I saw a man in a hard hat there. They must have been doing something with the gas. <laughs> yeah. Exactly, right? I mean, it makes sense. It writes itself. So, yeah, you have the uh, Dino uh, Belton and Wells Detective Agency that you know about. Um, yeah, there's there's a few different angles that you could go. Is there is there anything that's jumping out of you there? Or, obviously, you could head over to, um, I believe, as Eddie suggested uh, last night, um, heading over to the Y Valley and following on the, the trail of... Uh, the downed aircraft, but mm -hmm. we don't know anything. Mm -hmm. What do we now? Think? Twist, Twist could go to the detective agency yeah. as her, um, mis, uh, what is it? Di let's, Natasha, let's, whatever, let's and ask them what this. it was that they were investigating with the those two people. Let's discuss um, this in character. Let's let's. How how are your characters interacting with this? You've had a, you know, a bit of a rough day previously. You're all probably feeling a bit groggy and now full up of toast and sausage. Other than Icarus, who's just full up of one slice of toast. Mm. And lovely dreams. Yeah, if Icarus looks a bit rough this morning, I'd say. Okay. So, so you, you look to, over um, at Icarus. Blank. Twist tries to hand him a box of Frosties. To say, really, it's just, just nibble. They solve everything. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> so, um, what do you... So, what are you guys actually doing? How, how are you feeling? Uh, well, to be honest, if you guys want to find um, Argos, if there's anything else you want to do down here, I once we're done here, we need to get up to the Y Valley as soon as possible. Yeah. I think we should be in the Y Valley by tonight at the latest. I think, you know, we'll be spending the evening but in the Y Valley, you know, that, that way. We don't want to I start trekking out across the... Uh, the, the, the moorlands in the night time to be honest we need to oh no but what i mean is if we're at least if we can get down there tonight um oh dear i seem to have lost all of my sound one moment <laughs> um if we can get down if we can get down there tonight um hopefully early evening but if not um we could spend the night somewhere in the y valley and then go to the plot where everything happened the next morning um i'm, I'm just thinking that i need to um well my speciality, at least, you know, isn't shooting people. My speciality is actually talking to people. <laughs> could have fooled me. Um, uh, 
we I was going to speak to the neighbours to see if they knew anything about um, Mr. Mr. Greaves. Uh, uh, and also, Icarus. I could speak to the um, detective agency as well. Um, mm. I've got yeah. a bit of clobber with that. Icarus, what, what would your suggestions be? Uh, well, I would say it's, uh, I agree. I think we need to wrap up here as quickly as possible and get as far away from St. Ives as we can. Um, I was certainly interested in this detective agency. I don't know what they were sending to Tybalt, but it was some sort of regular package. That really, he was heavily involved with them. Yeah, is that the one loose end that we've got to wrap up before we head off to Wales? There was well, a solicitor as well, I suppose. Was he also in the area? Aaron Silverman. He's mm. um, he paid some money to the bills we ever mix up. I, I'm you assuming. don't know yet. If we Google it, can we Google Aaron Silverman solicitor? Um, yeah, I'll, I'll do that. Yeah, you're just going to Google that. Okay. Um, a, a, a quick Google. He does actually um, uh, pop up with uh, Aaron Silverman. Um, he works uh, at a law firm called Marcus Silverman and Green. Um, well, and they Why are... have they all got three names? Yeah. <laughs> because there are three people? I don't know. Um, <laughs> they, and they are based at the Crescent in Plymouth. Ooh, Which is a, a bit of a trek, trek. It's a little bit out of our way for going straight up to the Y Valley as well. Yeah. But it's somewhere um, anywhere other than here. Yeah. That's true. So, is the other detective agency, is that in the area? That's in Plymouth as well. Oh. Well, to be okay. honest, it looks like we're going to Plymouth. And um, the other thing I was going to ask is... The diary, the Wells delivery every couple of months does that relate to wells as in a detective agency delivery i mean so, what would a detective agency what be you delivering you don't know it's twist might have a quick google to see if there's any companies in the area called wells which no you really um just just as a reminder you did google this previously okay. and you 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 came up with the dino belton and wells detective agency yeah that that's what came up and that also happens to be th through a little bit of um cross-referencing you realize that that's also the property that went up in flames at the business park what they did at belton and wells yes the one that we set fire to you mean no park. that was a oh, one that was already oh yeah this was this was um, the uh the <coughs> night before Oh, sorry, um, early hours of October 3rd. So it was actually the same day. So, yes, serial arsonists. Many fires. Running around. Blame them. Yes. That's um, the best cover so... story. Exactly. exactly. Now, don't forget, you so can we... come up with these kind of cover stories. You can plant them places. That You can do that. Kind of stuff. It's not an issue. And we should try and find out some information more on the potential holdings. I think that's with the uh, solicitor, right? It's paid uh, through potential holdings. They were tied to know. it, yes. Now, yeah. poten potential holdings, um, they, they, yes, they have something to do with the solicitor. I believe that uh, uh, Silverman was on the name of uh, one of the things to do with potential. Oh, yeah, sorry. He's the single employee. But... So, looking at all of these things, should we maybe head to Plymouth um, to look at these other bits, see if we can, I don't know, find fucking Argos in the way, and um, then go from Plymouth and head to the Y Valley? Hey, it's as good a plan as any. Okay. Sounds good to me. Sense. Um, so we need more, we need to dump this car. We need to get rid of this car, burn it, so there's no evidence that we were here. Or at least, you know, we can then say somebody stole the car if need be. Um, and we need new transport. Um, so who's better with arson and who's better at stealing? <laughs> I mean, I feel, I feel like someone's looking at me. Do we, want to just, <laughs> do we want to just destroy the car or do we want to try and obfuscate our involvement even more by 
Well, the... Setting fire to an empty warehouse with the car. Hmm, possibly. I mean, we basically... We just... We've already got, really... we've got... We've got one big fire at that retail park, mm. remember? We've got another big fire that we don't know who started. Um, in St. Ives. We start another fire over here with this car. Well, and if we set a fire on the a, way to then Plymouth and then, then head the a, other way. But then it's a different... I was thinking of kind people, of just like dumping it in the woods somewhere and burning it out that, like a that joyride. Might, that, to be honest, that might be a better idea because uh, mm. if you start changing how you do things, it's not going to add up with people looking into if it's the same person. Yeah. If you just pour petrol on something and set fire to it, then you can blame kids. it on the same person. Mm. If you start using cars to burn the place down, it's different. It's um, you can't blame it on kids. It's more intention than it's more. Yeah. Uh, when also, if you manage to drop that car in like a canal, a dock, something like that, it's the worst thing to try and get it out. It'll it'll waste so much of their time trying to get the car out. The problem is, if they do that, it doesn't necessarily ruin every bit of evidence in there because. Um, uh, you know, they could still have some form of DNA or things in there, whereas if it's burnt... Burn it, then drown it. That'd be quite hard to move it once it's burnt, though. <laughs> be heavy. <laughs> put it on in a the water, and on fire. Put, put, it, <laughs> put it on a wee robot and send it out for a Viking <laughs> burial. <laughs> Stand there for three hours trying to get the... Uh, the, <laughs> the, the lift arrow. Onto... Bloody hell, cleric. I, we give you one night's sleep and you're in with all the bad ideas. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and by bad, I don't, I don't mean bad in quality. I mean, like, you know, bad as in, you know, bad, you know. I think, <laughs> um, I think Cleric, um, I think he likes LARPing. So I think, um, you know, he has a lot of those um, fight, fighting style and ideas. Uh, I'll have you know, it's no LARPing. It's proper medieval reenactment with full... <laughs> With full contact sword fighting, if you don't But do you, do you kill anyone? Do you stab each other? Oh, repeatedly, and hit each other with large lumps of... Do you make each other bleed? Relatively sharp. Maybe not on purpose. <laughs> but you make people bleed playing rugby. I've broken several noses playing yeah, rugby. Okay. I mean, <laughs> only one of them was mine. <laughs> it's... I'm not saying this sounds like a fetish, but the more you talk about it, it sounds more like a fetish. Um, so, uh, I mean, I, you you do you. Good to know that you're 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 up for hitting people with big sticks. Noted. Um, but yeah, I mean, yeah, you're right. Ditch the car. Um, I don't have any bleach left, but ditch the car. If we burn um, it good enough, it should be fine. Yeah, only problem is, though, I mean, a car being burnt, they immediately react to that. That's the only problem. Strip the number plates off. Stick it in a lock somewhere. What about all the things? Um, I mean, we'd need to take the bloody birds out the back. Well, of course um, we'd take everything and out. And then they would defrost, well, but... and then it would go like, fuck news. <laughs> what? Um, Twist, of and course we need... we'd take all of our stuff out before we stick it in the water. We need to try and remove all of our fingerprints and things as well, if we can. Yeah, um, I'll, I'll help out with that. I've done that before. It's fine. Okay, so um, do we have um, any ideas of how to get another car? Do you think it'd be better to steal? Do you think it'd be better to rent? But then if we rent, it's obviously in our name. Do you think it's better? What, what do you think? Uh, so, from... Hang on. Cleric is going to Google. So I don't want to go on a train with a French no, with a, a um, weird so like, we alien go... bird in it. With fingers. What's, <laughs> What's in your call box? <laughs> Couple of dead crows <laughs> with fingers, mate. <laughs> <laughs> is that a new drink? I don't know. <laughs> mm, refreshing dead crows. All the kids like it. Yeah. <laughs> it's too orangey for crows, John. Oh, it is. 
<laughs> wow. That is wow. Yeah, that. <laughs> that, that, <laughs> ref, that reference. <laughs> my God. Step <laughs> <Stop> high five. <laughs> it's a deep cut. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think Nick was too busy Googling that he didn't quite get the awesomeness of the old uh, reference. I did not. <laughs> Uh, right. Okay. So, what's it back? Uh, he's finished finished googling on his phone. Uh, so, well, to be honest, if we get rid of the car in Portsmouth, we can get a train from Portsmouth to Way. So uh, right. that's not a problem. What about the what? Um, the fridge with the bird things in? Uh, well, it's cool box, isn't it? Is that a cool box? So I can pick cool the box. box. What we do? Around. Well, uh, oh, that's not too bad. What we, we do is we've got the cool box. We uh rent we may need uh, some a new we rent we rent a locker somewhere at the station we text harold and say there's a couple of wee birdies in the locker that you want to come and have a look at it's locker number xyz one two three whatever the fuck Interesting. we leave them mm. there Tell him that it's time sensitive because the fucking things are going to start stinking. And well, if, you know, if we put some new. Um, also, you don't know if they're going to come back to life. These fucking things are weird. Uh, if, so, the, um, the fucking, if the or, fucking thing starts knocking in the back seat here, it's going in the fucking bin. So if um, if we buy some new ice to replace the ice, so we know it's definitely you know going to stay frozen for a while, we can at least give Twatface a um, a length of time, like to say. Come and get them in ten four minutes, hours. you wee fuckface. Yeah. You wee gob shade. Um, then that's fine. We get a train from uh, from Portsmouth to to Way. It takes. Uh, was it Portsmouth or Plymouth? Plymouth. Uh, Plymouth. Was it Plymouth? Oh, for fuck's sake! In that case, hang on. Wait a <laughs> uh, hang on. Wait a minute. Genuinely, wait a minute. when I was uh, converting all of this stuff, I accidentally put Portsmouth once or twice. <laughs> so, so clear it's okay. Math to <laughs> why about it? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. But yes, Plymouth. I don't think we can actually. Uh, so Plymouth and Why change, change. We get another car. Who knows? Yeah. And, uh, right. Okay. So, so uh, details, John. Are you, details. Uh, of course. So how are we going to get there? So you. you... Uh, well, we can still do it. It takes. Um, it's going to take us a, a wee while to get there with at least three changes but that'd be fine okay so we're going to planes trains and automobiles at you uh i will take us right to uh, where would it take us um uh somewhere so plymouth to why i it would take us a while uh it'd take us over to uh hay on way and then we work out where we want to go from there. It's not going to be too far from there. Would, would, uh, it's going to it's going to be a wee walkie in the in the in the uh, in the hills. So uh, I hope you got some serious f uh, footwear to come. We'll work it out. We need someone to stay anyway for that for the evening. So um, just so I guess up, up to stay. So where should, where fun. are we get where are we getting rid of the car? Are we somewhere in Portsmouth? Drive to Portsmouth. Dump the fucking thing in we the must... sea. We're not going to Portsmouth. Uh, <laughs> it starts with a P. It starts with a P and ends with mouth. Going to Paraguay. But then would that not be? I don't know. This is. But then the, if it was, if it was Plymouth, the though, then they, they can they can then Listen attach to my us voice. to both Plymouth you think I and there with the same more. car. Why don't we take a detour on route to Plymouth? Just drop it off in the river, down near, I don't know, Penryn or something. You could do anywhere that's rough that you know people would just like totally fuck up your car. So, so let's yeah. let's say uh, <laughs> you you arrange to you, you jump in a car uh, on the, on the way um, to the actual uh, the, to the Portsmouth Plymouth. Um, <laughs> you, P P mouth P mouth. Yeah. You you're driving. Along. <laughs> we are not going to P mouth thing. We. Um, very different entirely different kind of stream, yeah. <laughs> um, th this well, exactly, is... if you're talking about P-Mouth, it is a very different stream. No. <laughs> so you, you drive, uh, you're driving along, you head in your car, um, and uh, you're chatting about all of this stuff. You decide uh, there's going to be a certain point, sort of on the way, but you take a detour 
so you know that you you can you know you can head up to Elmwood wherever um, dump the the car there Wire Valley Wire, oh hey, yeah okay uh, right. yeah dump yeah. The, dump the car there and then jump on a train head back to Plymouth okay um, with regards to but then to, that would mean if we did that we went back oh it, we're not going to Hay on Wye though are we we're going to Wye Valley it's for the fine, other bit it's so, fine Hay on Wye is in the Wye Valley it's, yeah so we don't want to dump it there because we otherwise they can attach fine. us with the car don't worry to too many much places. So don't worry go, too much we dump it's, it somewhere we're not intending to go yeah you know for where we're not yeah so you, so you jump, dump it somewhere where you're not really intending to go so you uh, water or crystal or something who knows um and then you, you jump on a train, you head back. Um, for this, I would like somebody to roll me a criminology to get rid of this car. You've got a high Who's got rid of cars me, before? Simon. Eddie. I think you're muted, by the way, Eddie. Yep. Right, uh, let's see if I can get rid of this bloody car now. Not roll another hundred. Uh, can Swiss give him some kind of advantage just by being with him and both um, looking for a useful place? Yeah, you're not under any, you're not under any stress, really. Um, yeah, let's say plus twenty. That's fine. Ooh, why is that not rolling? Hang on a sec. Oh, you're doing it on um, Foundry? Uh, yeah. For some reason, it doesn't look like you're in there at the moment, so you might need to refresh. Yeah, I'll do that now. While they're uh, getting rid of the car, yes. Icarus is going to tap Cleric on the shoulder. So imagine we're both standing back while they're faffing around trying to dump the car in a lake. Yeah, so Twist and Eddie, they're, they're like, they're like, they're arguing about the best way to, to drive this car in, into a canal. No, no, we need chop, we need chops on there first. No, you what go we backwards. Do, we, we no, take you the go forwards. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so uh, windows Icarus, open you, or windows shut. Icarus, you feel this this tap on your shoulder from uh, so uh, cleric, you find have this tap on your shoulder from Icarus. Cleric, would you consider yourself an honest man? I. I would. I. Then, he takes out the jar from his pocket again. He kind of holds it up to you and goes, "Tell me, does this look familiar to you?" I mean, we've found it yesterday, so. Ah, yes, yes. I, I know we saw it uh, in in the coroner's office, but. Anything more than that, though? Does it? Does it? Does it spark anything? A memory, or you've never seen something like this before? You've been on missions with Pisces, right? I mean, we've seen some relatively weird shit, but no, nothing like fucking Smurf bogies that kill people. No. <laughs> you see, it's strange. I've, I've never been on a mission like this. This was my first one, but the more I the more I try to examine this thing, the more I... I feel like I've seen it before. It's just bizarre. Have, have you not seen anything like this with some of your research for your books? I mean, you've written, what, three books? Oh, I think I've written, written a little bit, but... Never something so practical. I, I did once... I did once look at something perhaps I shouldn't have, but it was... It was just some writing. I, you know, we, we've all done that. <laughs> Well, I imagine so. <laughs> I just deleted my browser history. It was fine. <laughs> uh, wish it was been so simple. But yes. Oh, I know what you mean. It's the, uh, the thing that got me into here was... Uh, if I think about it too much, it fucking... I won't sleep. It's fucking insane. <laughs> yes, I, I know what you mean. But... <laughs> I had such a bizarre dream last night. It's it's what's so vivid, so real, yet couldn't possibly be. I felt like I was somewhere else. Like I was really there, you know? Have you ever had something like that? Like a 
almost like a very lucid dream. Uh, no, I don't think I've ever had lucid dreams. I've, I've had dreams where, you know, the dream where you're in your house, but it's not your house. Yes. I've had those on a number of occasions, but no, no lucid dreaming, no. I see. <laughs> maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just exhausted. This has all been quite, quite a bit. I've never seen someone die before, you know, maybe I'm a bit rattled. <laughs> I, neither have I, to be honest. I've met somebody who should have been dead, but never seen anybody die in front of me. Actually, no, that's not strictly yes, true, you is have. it? It's <laughs> not strictly true, is it? It's like, uh, uh, once, but it's not it like, that. Not like this. Yeah. Not like this. Yes, I kind of hope that when I awoke, it will be gone as if, as if by magic or something, but it's, it's lingering in my mind in strange ways. And I keep looking at this thing, and I swear it's moving, but that would be odd, wouldn't it? This... I it would be very odd, and then it's sort of like it kind of pushes your 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 hand back down towards out, uh, out of out of cleric's eye line. Um, is that if that were moving, that would be you know very strange. Does it scare you, cleric? It scare me. Fucking too late, it does. I feel like that makes sense. Because I'm utterly fascinated by it. Well, don't get me wrong. I... <laughs> Things like this do fascinate me, but at one level removed. If I'm talking about it post facts, then fantastic. When it's right there in your face, you're dealing with the situation. You're dealing with, to steal a fucking phrase, first contact. It's not the same. You're right. Yes. That's... Some things I can deal with, and then some things I fucking can't. I must admit, I feel like I'm more capable of dealing with some things than I realized I would be. It's odd. It almost feels a little unreal. Like I'm... Like I'm not really here. <laughs> Bizarre. Give me numbers, I'm happy. Give me weird flubbery blue things from the depths of space. Not quite so happy, to be honest with you. I suppose that's fair. And Icarus will put the little jar back into his pocket. Icarus, you're discussing this, and you've had this conversation before. No, no, you haven't had this conversation before. You've read this conversation before. This is a conversation that you read, and you read it last night. You were stood towering over this this table with different appendages or uh, something like that. And you distinctly remember you having this conversation with Cleric. You were stood there and you were holding this jar and you feel this just at the back of your mind. This little twang, almost. Almost like if you if you move your arm and you catch a nerve and it just kind of <coughs> it hits and you feel the nerve catch and the tendon just goes over the bone horribly. But it's like in the back of your mind. And you don't really know what that is because you've never felt that before. And you feel this wave come over. And you don't, as you just said, you don't quite feel yourself. Hmm. 
I see. I... Cleric, do I look okay to you? You look a wee bit tired, but you've always looked a bit peaky, to be honest with you. <laughs> yes. Th this might seem like an odd question, but am I the right height? I feel short today. It's weird. I, I sort of step, step back and... No, you seem about the same. Hmm. I mean, everybody so. seems small to me. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yes, perhaps you're the wrong person to ask. <laughs> and this this feeling of of a nerve, of a tendon, of of muscle going over your brain it gets more intense and you hear you hear twist and eddie just arguing about trying to push this goddamn car into a, <laughs> with so, your knees with your knees yeah. no we slash the tires as it's going over i mean otherwise it's kind of bloody float isn't it so <laughs> yeah well i don't know <laughs> Well, the front end's heavier, isn't it? It's got an engine in it. That's why it's the one that goes in first. I know there's a tow bar on the back, and they'll be able to pull it out, but all you need to do is loosen up a few of the screws, and that's going to really piss them off, because they'll try to pull it out. It won't hold the weight of the car. It'll fall back in. It'll waste more time. Everything you're hearing, you have read this. Every word that is being said, absolutely, 100%, you are certain. But some other words start coming into your mind some just it's like gibberish you don't what are those words what what are you cleric i tell me does the word woodbridge mean anything to you does woodbridge mean anything to me mr handler does it no, not at the moment. Torchwood, on the other hand, yeah. <laughs> With which, no. So hmm. Oh, I, I could have sworn we, we've had this conversation before. But what about March? Did something, did something happen in March? Um, our last mission was in February. <laughs> yeah. Was it? Yeah, because yeah, it was... Was it... It was Valentine's. It, it was, same year, I think. Uh, was it the same year, or was it... Uh, it was, yeah, it was 2014, 2014, wasn't it? Yeah. There's nothing that, that obviously... No, not in March. No. It's just... What? It's just... This is quite odd. I... I don't know why this is coming to me like this. I just I feel. Did, did we see a, a cookbook in Tibbalt's house or something like on the side? I possibly. I wasn't in the kitchen. No, I was only in the. No, I, I didn't go to the kitchen either. Actually, now that I think about it. Actually, we why... might have walked through. We might have walked through the kitchen to get into the back garden, though. Hmm. No, no, we walked straight out through the lounge through the. Mm. The door so the no ground. i didn't go in the kitchen at all someone else did because they went looking for food to put in the to that attract was, the birds yeah that was that argus was eddie. he went on was it oh, eddie, yeah <laughs> yeah it was eddie because me and argus were yeah because eddie um because uh, well argus didn't say what he was going to do he just came running out with a load of meat didn't he and just started screaming something about oh yeah he went and grabbed me birds yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. so no i <laughs> uh, I feel I didn't go into the kitchen. Um, I was there. I was in his secret lab, and then in the garden, and that was about it. Right. I mean, obviously it's at the front, but no, no, no kitchen. No. I, maybe and to be honest, there weren't that many books just lying around in the house, as far as I can recall. No, there weren't. No, I. Very clean shelves, to be honest. So Twist would have gone in the kitchen. She went quite a lot around the house. Yeah, you looked around interest. the whole place. Yeah, everybody and... looked around. Yeah. Out, out of interest, uh, was there a cookbook in the kitchen? It was like it's maybe just, like a it? Jamie Oliver's, you know, 10-minute meal. 15-minute meals, like yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> something like that, maybe, yeah. Hmm. I don't know 
<laughs> it's strange what your mind tries to focus on, isn't it? It's like you're trying to find something to anchor yourself. I... I can I can agree with that. I know I know where you're coming from with that. It's like you have to almost like hang on to things. Mm. And it can be the smallest little thing. Yes. You know, it's strange when when we were in the house when we saw when we saw the photographs of the wounds. My my first thought was that there was going to be some sort of ritualistic element. Something carved into the flesh, perhaps, but there wasn't any surprising, really, because I keep getting the word magic coming to me, but that doesn't seem quite right. Hmm. I've not come across anything that we could... I've not come across anything that we could actually definitively say was magic we come across some really some weird technology and some like, weird goings on mm. like chemical compounds and stuff like that but no we pointy headed bastards with wands going abracadabra mm. no 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 you're, you're right you're right there, there wasn't anything like that however actually we did because we had the whole fucking chanting thing with the FBI guy so <laughs> let me dream. just do redo the whole right sorry my brain uh, so, oh as in as in twists and characters yeah with the, yeah, the demon we, dog we did, yeah. So, yeah with the demon dog um, so it's like <sighs> also cleric's called cleric because he plays a cleric but he probably has oh, yeah, some but that's, yeah but that's D&D &D, so know, that's exactly. fine um, <laughs> um, so so rewind just a little bit until it's like magic keeps coming into my head it's like have you ever come across so like, i'd like to say no but because that would be the logical thing to say but i i have both it both me and uh twist and another couple of guys we know um We we're accosted by something, some weird thing that was not a dog. It's the best description I can give you. And we had a, we had on a scrap of paper, a chant, a sacred chant that was raised. that see. warded us from this thing if we kept at it long enough i don't know if it banished it or just it got bored because it couldn't get to us but it left and icarus when cleric is talking to you about this you know that he was going to say this to you and you don't know it know it but you know when you read a book and you're like this is a great book i'm loving this book. you put it down you go away for a bit and then you you come back to it and then um you read the same page you're like i read this page before maybe i should no no i totally read this. oh god i've read this book before and that's almost how you're feeling about this conversation. You have read this book before. You know that Cleric is talking about Agent Rankin. Agent Rankin? And with you saying that, you feel another like wave come over you. You feel slightly nauseous. And Twist and Eddie, they, they push this car over into this this canal and it you hear this massive and you can see 
in the distance, eddy and, and twists, just kind of making sure, like looking down, that it's like sinking. And they're like, yeah, brilliant. Job well done. Twist, eddy, you high fiving. <laughs> just big chest bump. <laughs> <laughs> Falling in. The twist it. falls over, yeah. <laughs> just bounces <laughs> off me. <man. laughs> <laughs> And you turn around. Second smaller you... splash. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> both, both Twist and Eddie, you, you turn around and you see Cleric and Icarus talking. And Icarus has got this really weird look on his face. Like, just like he's, it's a kind of very bizarre cross between almost looking off into space, not really focusing on something, but also the, just trying to make sense of, of the world. Almost like it's uh, the newborn baby just suddenly like realizing that the universe exists. Twist has a moment of thinking either he's a bit fucked up or he really has low blood sugar, so she takes a banana out of her bag. And as you take the banana, <laughs> he, he doesn't want a six pack. <laughs> as, as you as you take the banana out of your bag and you walk over, um, yes, we're doing this. As you take the banana out of your bag, <laughs> and you you uh, you walk over to Icarus and Eddie, you walk over and Cleric, you you turn around and and face Icarus. Icarus looks at you, each in turn, and collapses to the floor. And. Twist jumps to the floor and tries to, like, she can't really do much from the first day, but she can do basics. So she's like listening for breath, whatever, making sure she's mm. conscious. And you can hear him breathing. There's no issue there. He's, he's breathing quite normally, but he's, he, he's not even, not even having like a, a, a fit or anything. He's, he's almost like out cold, but he's not. He catatonic. Almost, maybe. Does he seem a bit like you know the people with the button that we saw? No. You know those no. like where they were really catatonic and just no. This is different. It. This okay. is different. And as Icarus is lying on the floor and she twists, you you listen at his breathing. And you're checking his pulse. And Icarus. Some words just escape your mouth as you're lying there. Delete my browser history. <laughs> <laughs> what are those words? Oh, and backwards would be not love. <laughs> you just hear zero nine zero one. Report. Qu query. And Icarus passed. Zero nine zero one. Report query. And that's yeah. where we'll leave it this evening. Um, okay. Uh, can I ask as well what kind of time of day it is now? Uh, you got up. Is it still six, morning. You, yeah, it's still yeah. morning. Midday ish. Oh yeah, actually yeah. You drove away. A while. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd say midday, one o'clock. Let's say around about that. Cool. Um, awesome. Thank you so much. Goodness me. <laughs> um, well, there we go. There's there's a way to end an episode. Um, <laughs> okay. So uh, seriously, thank you very much for for joining us today. That that was uh, good fun. Um, I hope everybody at home enjoyed it. Um, I, I will I will go around the horn and um, we we shall uh, say where we come from um, and then um, we'll do some goodbyes and things like that. Nick, who are you? I am Nick. I'm from the Trolls of the Two Ton Bridges, and you can often find me playing Troll, uh, Tomb of Annihilation. Lovely, Natalia. Who are you? I'm Natalia. I come from my mum. You do? And I also <laughs> do. And I also, yeah. Um, you can find me uh, via Trolls of the Two Ten Bridges um, or TO Triple TV podcast. Uh, we're, I've often been playing with Nick, 
um, Tomb of Annihilation. But not me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sign there as well. Yes. Uh, Simon, you, sir, you. I'm Simon from the Chaotic Neutral Games community. And uh, yeah, look us up. We do some good games. YouTube. Um, <laughs> um, it's on Twitch as well, isn't it? Uh, yeah, we're on, uh, we're on Twitch as well. Uh, we're starting up with a new season yeah. in a couple of months' time. Oh, we've so. we've taken a hiatus, so uh, we've got some uh, uh, Verson and some uh, some Lancer coming up. So nice, yeah, nice. looking nice. forward. To it. We we'll be doing some uh, Verson too. Um, and last but not least, Adam. Hey, I am Adam. I am the DM and host over at Gunpowder Trees and No Plot, a cosmic horror themed homebrew D and D podcast. Yay! And um, I, I shall. Um, I'll, I'll just quickly say, and um, unfortunately, this is Adam's last stream with us on the Delta Green game. Um, we love him incredibly. He's he's an amazing player and a brilliant DM and. Yeah. Uh, uh, like honestly, go and go and check out Gunpowder Trees and No Plot. It's fucking great. Um, honestly, it, um, it's it's been an absolute pleasure um, playing with you, dude. Like seriously, yeah, yeah, it's, awesome. Um, it's it's all good news why why he's moving on, but um, yes, unfortunately, this is he's he's going to be busy for a bit, basically. Um, mm. So. I'm sure yes. we'll see him at some point back yes. on. Um, you will come back. Play and stuff. And... You will yeah. come back. Perhaps <laughs> not in this particular Delta Green game, but um, it we'll depends see. how slow we are. We'll see if we ever, if we ever get know. to the end. Who knows? <laughs> um, we should have. We should have. Pip come back. back. We'll all be different characters. It'd be fine. Yeah, yeah it'll be all. Yeah. It'll be all. Good. It'll be all. Good. Do I um, know you? <laughs> we should, everyone else is nuts or dead. Who knows? Um, <laughs> so. Um, we will have Pit back next week. Um, uh, hopefully, he'll have a computer. Um, fingers crossed. Hey, um, I'll give uh, just a, a couple of quick um, shout-outs regarding things that are coming up. Uh, if I can find them on my screen, yeah, I'm going to have to do that and that. This is terrible, isn't it? This is, this is so organised, it's ridiculous. Right. Okay. Um, Tomorrow, tomorrow we have uh, the second part of uh, the Tales Were True, uh, which is a D and D game uh, run by Jordan, who's who's part of uh, Actual Play UK. Um, he has a modified done... role as well, isn't it? Yes, yeah. Uh, he has done a, a, an absolutely <laughs> amazing job with that. It's really very very interesting scenario as well because it's all based on uh, like fairy tales and things like that that are actually accurate and they exist. Uh, within a kind of fantasy world of Britain, um, uh, but yes, do check that out. It's 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 funny and it's also it's just cool. It's, it's a good laugh. Um, obviously, next Thursday we will be back with with Pip, but unfortunately without Adam. Adam. Um, then after that, but maybe if you're bored, Adam, you could watch. Yeah, you could watch. I, mm, I, <laughs> <laughs> I actually... want to find out what's happening. Yeah, I know exactly. You want to know what have I done with my body? <laughs> <laughs> He's not dead yet. Into the canal. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Cover fling up him into the, the fling him into the trees. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> with the crows. Um, uh, the October thirteenth, we have part two. There's been a little while coming of Pirate Borg. Um, that's going to be um, a, a super spooky uh, October for us because um, we then have on the uh, 20th, we've got Lovecraft-esque, which is um, the second edition Kickstarter thing that we're doing uh, with those guys. That's going to be quite an interesting one. Uh, just a just a one shot for that. But the, uh, the creator of uh, Lovecraft Desk is coming on. He's running it. Uh, it's it's going to be all kinds of fun and, and games and malarkey. Um, guaranteed. Uh, on October the 27th, we are carrying on with the Halloween-y goodness with Final Girl. Um, and uh, that that's uh, an all-girl cast that is going to be pretty awesome. And it's good, probably going to be totally ridiculous as well. So that, that'll be all fun and games. And then on uh, actual Halloween itself, October 30th, and then the 31st, we're doing a special Shiver game. Um, 
which uh, Josh from uh, Dice and the Slice is is jamming, and it is an absolute blast. Uh, I've I've I'm in that one, so I mean it's probably okay. Boop. No, it's actually brilliant. Um, so come along, enjoy that, and um, we've got loads more stuff happening out uh, over the next uh, couple of months. Uh, and into the new year, we're still still organising things. It's it's all going to be fun. Um, make sure you subscribe and follow the channel so that we can kind of um, promote us. We yes, love you. Us. We we do love you. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, if if any hotel chains, um, you know, want to uh, want to offer us free rooms or breakfast, or, or uh, like be... free chicken nuggets for life for twist. Yeah, for, for yeah, McDonald's. <laughs> if you're listening, um, I mean, that's... we we do love you. <laughs> Um. <laughs> strong um, okay cool so yeah nuggets and hotel rooms I think that yeah. says it all um, hotel nuggets check us out on all of the social media channels um, I, I am John I do this stream and I also do Trolls of the Two Ton Bridges T O Triple T B on all podcast. the socials podcast um, dudes thank you very much I'll speak to you later Take care. Bye. Bye.